say 32. Which one do you want to stick with? You know what? Uh, now that you've said that, I'm going to go stick in with 32. 97. It's 30. 30? That's fucking it's called. 30? So Chase, <laughs> looks like if you didn't have an inspiration point before, you might get one. Which I already had an inspiration yep. point. Yep. So. Because you're the only one who doesn't use it because Hank never rolls bad, Hank apparently. Hank never rolls bad. That is that is true. <laughs> Hank never with gives that, with that With that nat 20, you I'll, got more. I'll re-roll a nat 20 uh, this time. I'll, I'll re-roll a nat 20 so <laughs> that you guys don't feel bad. All right, Crystal. I'm Matt. constantly winning. I will go. Oh, you're gonna go? Or are we leaving Matt to his uh, to his math skills? Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, let him do math, his, math, his math, math. math, as we call him. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm actually not gonna math today. I, I oh. have had a number picked oh. out the entire time. Whoa! Wow, we all have had God. numbers picked out the whole time. Mitch, Chris, did you have a number picked out? No. Oh, uh, okay. Well then, I'll, I'll, well, then I'll well then I'll roll and then I'll send you the answer through uh, through brain waves. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see if your telekinetic abilities are strong enough. That's Vashan, and not, not, not SLR, unfortunately. No, I'm talking about Isaiah's telekinetic oh. abilities. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty talented. Oh, he's a DM, so basically, I'm very, I'm very hard sending you the brain All waves right. through Discord. Okay. I'm sending you the number right now. All that, right. That's me, that's and me, it, that's no, me. No, that, I'm, you... I'm sensing some interference, but uh -huh. that's okay. It's all right. Um, I, I I see the brain waves. I feel them in my own. Look, brain. I'm, even, I'm even looking at the dice to give you it to give you an image, a mental image in your mind's eye. All right. Okay. Okay. The number that's sticking in my head is thirty-four. Ooh. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sorry, that's me. That's me. Uh, that's me. Oh, yeah. oh, that's me. Uh, yeah. Are you sure about that? It's Sixty-two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt, you interfered too much. It was eighty-nine. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That went higher, but I didn't go high enough. Yeah, you, you should have gone really high. You should have gone a lot more high. Yeah, well, Matt, Matt, what's your number? All right. You're very confident well, I, in yours. We, we got to wait for him to roll the dice. Oh. Ah, okay. Because well. I, have, I have a few numbers. It depends on how the dice roll. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll turn off. I'll turn off noise suppression so you can hear the dice. Yeah. Let me get those real good click clacks. Let me, let me let me point the let me point the microphone down and. Ooh, ooh, some spicy clickies. Hmm. Okay. That was that was a hearty roll. Yes, sir. So let's see. We have option one, option two, and option three. Which option was the was uh? To the liking of the uh, sound of the dice rolling. Well, you know, normally I would go with option one, but option two is always the right answer. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to have to go with option three. All right. Which it's the wild in, card. In this case was 55. 55? Mm -hmm. All right. I want to hear what the other two options were. Well, option one was 72. Mm-hmm. And then option three, well, excuse me, option two, which is always the correct answer, of course. Option two was 88. Okay. And you're sticking with option three, which has 52. Well, no, option three is 55. 55, my bad. That, that's what you're sticking with. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Mm. I always ask everyone in one, are mm -hmm. you sure? Right. Right. Mm. I'm trying to. That's it, and that's not help, and that's not helpful because I could be, I could be fucking you over or helping you. You never right. know. Right. I'm. I'm trying to trying to smell, smell the deception. Smell here. the number. Mm. Yes, I do smell it. It's a smelly smell. It smells smelly. You know what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We, we're going to have to change it. Mm -hmm. It's not 55 mm -hmm. this time round. Mm -hmm. This time mm -hmm. round, it's 26. 26. Oh, you didn't choose any of your numbers. Nope. I got to go with my lucky number. Your, nu your lucky number. Okay, I see. I see. All right. Well, uh, the answer was 67. Darn. So you're very wrong. But I should have gone funny sex you, number. Should have gone for funny sex.
Yeah. I mean, really, right, that's now, the correct answer. Ma already has one, but she could always have the potential of getting two. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, she she's got one right now. So you know, you know, Bren, mm -hmm. there's a number that's sticking out in my mind that I've been that I've been thinking of that I've been, that I've been thinking of. Yeah, what's that? Uh, you know what? I don't know, but the number, uh, but the number fifteen has been really sticking out to me. So you know, I want to roll. Those gear dice, you know, that are unweighted oh. like the ducky dice are. All right. I was holding the metal dice because I know you didn't want to use the ducky dice because it's too easy. But I'll put the metal dice down. Uh, you can't hear them clink very well because, again, uh, I there's... I can hear them clicking. Oh, okay. I don't know how loud they are, but they're not as loud as the metal ones. What? Wait, what they're, did you say? They're loud enough. They're loud enough. I, I, I said 15. Okay. Is that your final answer? Hmm. I, mean, I just I had to say it because you always say it. Yeah, yeah, because you always say it. You know, I didn't hear any impre I didn't hear any impressed tones in your voice, so uh, I, I'm trying not to give know, it any you away. But uh, you know, just like just like everyone else, you know, they 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 change their numbers around. So you know what? I think I'm. I, didn't I think change I'm. My fucking number. I was a well, okay. Besides you, because you're because because you're a good boy. Uh, you know, what? I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, I think I'm gonna forty three. Just stay with your original guess. Oh, what was the number? It was twenty-one. Ah, well, <laughs> she already had inspiration points, so. Uh... All right, never mind then. Yeah, she she didn't matter. I had to get it. I had to get it on the number. <laughs> wait, so wait, it was twenty-one. Yeah. Ah, uh, damn! That's the meter. <laughs> I should. I should just go. I'm going twenty-one. Twenty-one. All right, Angelina's got plus ten. And Angelina's got one. We're gonna go thirty-five because always in the thirties. Oh uh, uh, no, mm, not sad. this time. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no. You roll for her. Uh, you always roll for her, uh, yeah. Matt. So you, you, I, I forgot you. Uh, she's your special girl. So you know. Mm, the, mm -hmm, but I'm thinking mm -hmm. it's thirty-five. Come on, you just got just, 30, just 35. 35, 35. It's, it's thirty-five. 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 Mm. Oh, I mean, within ten. Uh, this it is within, within 10, 10, but she already had, but she already had one, so, wait, at least I think, at least I think she had one. Uh, oh. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me check again, see One, she, one of these days we'll uh, all have inspiration. Yes, she did. Now, hold on, because, we, because, uh, Alois is with us, does he get an inspiration? Mm. Are we gonna an inspiration? <laughs> Would it matter? Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. If he is with us in mm -hmm. the middle of the city, that all like, right. If they discover us, well, well, all right. Then here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna roll on roll twenty, and you're gonna guess for him. You want me to guess for him? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a d100, and you're gonna guess for him. All right. Okay. What do you think Alois's lucky number is? You know, Alois is a bit of a sourpuss, so I feel like he'd be a low baller. Okay. I'm, you know what? You don't think he'd be like a centrist, like a true fifty kind of person? No, 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 no. Mm. I think, I think he'd be, he'd, he'd. It's probably like a seven. I was actually thinking seven. Ooh, lucky number seven. I, I think I'm gonna go with seven. Yeah. Oh, lucky you know strikes. And, you know, and you know what? I, I think Alois like can can be a can be a bit of a meme man. I think he liked, I think he liked haha funny sex number. <laughs> but uh, but let's see what the dice have to say about that. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, it was, you know, if I only, was... if only I had gone with like 13 or something. Yeah. It was close. Unlucky close. number 13. Ah, uh, poor, poor, poor Alois. Oh. He doesn't need it. He'll just roll good. Yeah, he'll just roll good. Yeah, exactly. He was rolling so good last session, so I believe. He honestly pretty, he honestly was. All he has to do is just keep doing that. Just more. All right, yeah. All right, Alex, we're gonna we're gonna do a roll on here. All right, well, that that's a good thing I wasted that one. That's a two on the dice, so that mm. it's a good thing he didn't take that. Okay, so uh, are you ready? Uh, everyone, everyone got everyone got snacks. Everyone got uh, got uh, something nice for them. I, I don't got snacks, but I'll just I'll eat later, or I'll. Rango, stop. I, Rango, I, I get, quickly Rango, ate get a dinner snack. before. Go, go get a snack. Bro. I no. Okay, I just thought I I, I just there thought was... I'd. Uh, eh. I I can eat later. I'm not gonna eat anything. I don't eat while <laughs> I'm streaming. It's unprofessional. Ah you know, uh, yes, you're right. You know, go go get your snack, Brandon. I gotta go use the bathroom. 
That's not gonna make me go get a snack because you- Go get you... your damn snack, <laughs> oof! <laughs> Bring it a fucking snack! Ugh. I'm gonna close- it's gonna be- I'm gonna be very K-Fape not happy, Brandon. Cave vape? What is this emote? I I what, what I, I, emote? I I I heard I heard a streamer say it once, and I don't know why, but the way <laughs> he just said it, it really stuck with me. Cave vape. You know, no, K I said poggers to somebody in my lab today. Whoa. <laughs> and they, they looked at me like, "What the fuck did you just say?" You, <laughs> you, you invented a new word for them. Yeah, I did. Some, we're indoctrinating <laughs> you. <laughs> because it's yeah. like such a habit at this point to be like, wow, that's Pog. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. I mean, honestly, honestly, at work, someone, to come, someone comes to the office is like, hey, how you doing, G? I'm like, oh, I'm doing pretty fucking Poggers. How are you doing? Don't <laughs> worry. Right, like, I, I've you know, they, they, I, I think they either just don't understand what I'm saying or think I'm just such an idiot that they just go along with it because they never, they never look at me funny. What, what, the other option is that they know what that means. Uh, that's also true, but it's all but it's the military, so half of the people are old men. So that's true. Don't worry, I've messaged a bunch of I've messaged a bunch of like fiber artists, and every single time when they were like, "Hey, by the way, I got this for you," I'm like, "Oh, fucking pog," like question mark. Every, oh. sing, every single time. Yeah. Well, f well, fiber is for people who don't who uh, who don't use the internet. I, I mean, I could go through all like right. Twitter and just go th and just like. Ask people. Yeah, if you say really if you say pog stuff. on Twitter, people know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, all the time. Like I, when I was getting like Venomanaga, but sexy. Uh, I would say pog them, and they would say pog back, and I was like, like an actual, actual G. Yeah, these people, these people get it. Yeah, and I would love to do more like Twitter commissions. So why can't they're so like so Why can't you? It's easier just to go through like Fiverr and just find like an artist on there and message them and be like, hey man open instead of looking through all their instead of asking them on twitter and then being like nah dude i've been close for like nine years and i'm just like well, update your fucking bio dickhead i returned oh, shit oh welcome back forgive me i needed to uh rest my tailbone for a moment we were talking about you we apologize making fun of you behind your back man well i don't work on fiverr i don't Oh, well, never mind. I guess we're not sorry. <laughs> right, look, now I'm just going to say, uh, never mind. I'll, I'll hold off for now. Okay. <laughs> but, but if I you want, I don't want, I don't want to make, I want to make you look stupid. If, in front no, of but, but if you, but if you fuck with me, I'll, I'll say it, man. Oh, okay. You know what, Brandon? Go ahead and say it. And give me a good reason. You won't. Well, I'm giving you a reason now. Say it. That's it. This motherfucker uploads shit on Skillshare. I can just tell that Matt's a fucking Skillshare. He, this, oh, this man oh, fucking acts. Skillshare? Act, this man she wants a quarter pound of cheese. She wants Aiden to have a large fry with a 10 piece. And then I'll have a 20 piece with a large fry. And that's, you got that's, it, Chase. That's what's going to happen to you, Matt. Yes. If you, don't, if you keep fucking with me. <laughs> I'm going to turn you into a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. I didn't realize it was that bad. And I'm gonna upload the whole thing on Skillshare for you. Teaching oh, people shit. how to turn other people into quarter pounders with cheese. Right. See ya. I guess Chase is getting a quarter pounder with cheese. Sorry. I got a call from Ethan. Welcome back. Yeah. I didn't know they were getting uh, McDonald's and uh they were all like, do you want anything? I'm like, of course. Quarter pounder with cheese. A quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah, mom, mom's getting a quarter pounder with cheese. Aiden's getting a 20, 10 piece with a large fry, and I'm getting a 20 piece with a large fry. Mm. Going fancy tonight, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Get the protein in! Get the protein in! I'm oh, sorry, I had to change to the right scene. There we go. All right, I'm ready. All right, boys, I'm ready too. We all good? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna fucking kill. We're <laughs> fucking doing. Yes, Let's I'm fucking go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for me money. Alrighty. Well, 
When last we left our wanderers, Hank, the dwarf rogue, Esra, the shifter druid, Dokin, the minotaur ranger, and Vashana, the Kalashar sorcerer, the party met up with uh, Eslar's brother, Alois, uh, in the morning in the Eslar... <laughs> in the Eslar <laughs> forest, uh, the <laughs> Silver... <laughs> uh, <laughs> overnight, uh, did she realize that her father changed it in the Silver Claw forest? Oh, shit. Uh, Ah, uh, I've changed and... the name of my forest to my daughter! <laughs> my daughter, I've changed name of forest to you! Yeah, happy birthday! Well, thanks, you, Papa! I've always wanted to hold forest for my birthday! Uh, they met- the party met up with, uh, Aloise and, uh, exited the Silverclaw Forest and started making their way to Barshan. Uh, along the way, we're using the cover of uh, both rain, trees, and spells, managed to sneak up to the outer wall, and uh, through very easy means of uh, both magical and uh, and uh, mechanical uh, uh, methods, I don't know why I got stuck on that word, uh, managed to slip up the wall and uh, execute the guards uh, without being noticed, and uh, looked down upon the city to see a massive army filling up the streets of the one area cut off from the rest of the town. Uh, making their way down and through some unfortunate uh, failed uh, deceptions uh, against some guards, uh, managed to slip by somewhat unnoticed uh, and into the city proper. Uh, we're coming with a small plan of getting into the actual city and bypassing the gates. Uh, decided that, uh, everyone, uh, have their different methods of being unseen. And, uh, and, uh, Angelina and <laughs> Vashana, uh, just carry off Hank like he's a drunkard. <laughs> uh, managing to slip by the guards and everyone, uh, the party slips right into Barshan and our net. And are now on the are on the main road on the eastern side, away from the wall. So, at this point, as you guys have made your way, uh, you realize now that the uh, let's see if I can change up the music to something a little less hostile for the time being. A little uh, rambunctious, maybe. Uh, not that one. Not that one. All right, roll twenty. What you got for me? What you got for me, roll? 20. It better have the rain effect. Yeah. Isaiah. It, it, you it, better it, keep the rain. What? The, well, well how would you rain. feel? Well, how would you feel if I uh, told you that the uh, rain would be letting up to a slight drizzle now? Uh, upset. It in yeah. fact might be. It better be getting harder. I want to keep the rain. Okay. Well, you know what? Then we can just. Wait. Soundtrack. This mother. One. This Isaiah hates bionicles. Oh, thank God it's back. Oh, thank God. It is, uh, the rain has dropped down to a bit of a slight drizzle now as mm -hmm. you guys, uh, make your, as you guys make your way onto the road. Uh, the roads are cobblestone, uh, with some, uh, are, uh, cobblestone, uh, uh, sidewalks with some, uh, kind of paved dirt roads that are a bit muddy because of the, uh, rain that's been going down. <laughs> Uh, you see, again, just, uh, at most two-story buildings, uh, above you, uh, and most, mostly one story, but a couple two stories oh. that may be inns or workshops or stores. Uh, with the rain especially, it seems that, uh, there's not a lot of people on the road, uh, whatever merchants, uh, whatever merchant shops or uh, carts or vendors that would be up uh, seem to be closed for the time being. And uh, you also notice it's also getting uh, little, uh, a little dark as well. Dusk is starting to uh, set in a little bit. Uh, uh, you, do, you, do, you do notice uh, down the roads uh, some... Uh, be, what, what you can see down the roads, there do seem to be people wandering about, an odd couple or two, and... Uh, just some guards out on duty, and also uh, Vashana. What you noticed before, you do see those uh, guard towers as well. That uh, are aren't numerous, but you do see them in the distance. And uh, there seems to be at least uh, one or two guards just in watch above them. I was going to ask, Izzy, uh, as we're like walking through the uh, the city, I assume we're 
<clears throat> probably not like sticking to the main roads, but do we see a bunch of uh uh civilians or do we mainly see is it is this like almost all people in, that are geared to the T? Uh in the city no. Uh the guard uh, where you just were was definitely where all the guards and the military of this city was. But now that you're on the main road, uh, you do see guards, <laughs> not as many, just some that seem to be uh, out on patrol. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, but you are seeing like uh, actual people, like people with like umbrellas going out and like coats mm -hmm. you know, that seem to just be uh, traveling along the roads. Uh, you are on the you are on the uh, you are on the main road mm -hmm. at least at the start of it uh, to where it uh, leads out to the. Uh, uh, to the uh, different uh, gates that lead into the, uh, I guess, just the guard outpost of yeah. uh, where you just were. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are si there are side roads that you see, and obviously looking down the main road, about a good two or three miles away from where you guys are, you can definitely see the massive building of the uh, temple. That's, you know, where, you know, directly in the middle of the town. Oh, boy. How long does invisibility last, by the way? Uh, an hour. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm good. Yeah, no, you're still invisible for an hour. I I assume you're still behind uh, Vashana and Angelina. Yeah, uh, Dolkin is is uh, looking at the bag, just like keeping his eyes on it, and he's try he's like keeping a track of time in his head. Yeah, I was gonna ask, uh, how long has it been since we have put Ma in the bag? About five minutes. Okay. Yeah, D Dolkin, uh, you can't see him, but he is uh he's sweating a little bit. He's getting a little anxious. Vashana's keeping track of it in her head, and um. So are there like lots of back roads around here, or is it pretty much just yep. a main road? Or no, yeah, no. There's ba there's uh there's main roads. There are back roads. You know, alleyways they can go behind. Okay. Uh, it's it seems to it's it's a pretty simple uh it's a simple uh city structure. Again, it's basically like you got the you got the four main roads that go in all cardinal directions, and it's like it's like pieces of a pie of mm -hmm. different areas. Okay. That are, that are just different sections of the city, with just the main focal point being the temple. Mm -hmm. So you've got so you've got you know one pie being the northeast, one pie being the southeast, one pie being the southwest, and one yeah. pie being the northwest. Yeah, and then the east, uh, east west, obviously my favorite pie peas. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, would there be anywhere that we could like? Would there be any place that we could, like, duck into quickly to, now that we've, like, entered the belly? Or is it, do none of the places, do they, uh, does every place look lived in currently? Yeah, nope. is there, at the very least, uh, like a hovel or, like, some sort of back alley area where it doesn't look like there's going to be any activity? <laughs> Roll me a perception check. Uh, just you two, since, uh, well, actually, no, Hank too, since, uh, He's, uh, since you guys are carrying him, and, uh, Angelina can roll one, too. Oh, boy. Okay, so you got that. I accidentally clicked it twice. You got that, you got that 19. <laughs> oh, 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 oh Doki! Uh, 19. Angelina will probably need to roll, but, uh, we can, we can roll for regardless. Uh, 13. Oh. Okay. Uh, Angelina is more just focused on keeping up the act of, uh, just moving, uh, Dol uh, not Dolkin, uh, Hank around. Uh, Vishana and, uh, Hank, uh, while you guys are going around, uh, you can definitely see that, uh, uh, there are, uh, how, it seems to be a lot of houses that are around here, uh, some with, some with lights on, and, uh, uh, some that don't have, uh, lights on, there seem to just be, like, uh, lamps that indicate that maybe someone's living in the home or not, or even just lights peeking out through, uh, uh, just uh, wooden shutters or uh, glass windows. There do seem to be also, uh, from what you can see, uh, maybe some more, uh, some more, uh, uh, some more life uh, down the road at what might be like an inn or something. Uh, but Dolkin, mm -hmm. uh, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna also assume you guys are <laughs> traveling. You guys, you guys are still walking while you guys are. Well, going down, I assume. Yeah, just, just looking Look, around. I'm I'm looking for a place where we can kind of quick dip in, let Ma out, let her get a breath or two, and yeah. then throw her back in. Dolkin, yeah. what mm -hmm. you notice is as you guys are going by, you're uh, since you're invisible, uh, you probably have the better ability to actually going up to these houses to look inside. You look around like as you're going by, like just 
everyone's looking around to find a place to duck. You look at, like, maybe 10, 15 houses, mm-hmm. and what you notice is only maybe, like, two or three of <laughs> those houses seem like someone's living inside of them. Oh. You even even take a okay. peek through some of the windows. They look fully fur Like, a lot of these homes that you see look fully furnished, but you but don't see just... people living inside of them. Mm. And uh, and with that nat 20, uh, one house that you, looked at, well, that you look at that looks fully furnished and, like, you know, people would live here looks dusty as hell. Mm. Ah. Mm. Very interesting. Uh, well, Dolkeen, not wanting to say anything because he doesn't want to get caught. Oh, because, you know, even if he could whisper, he'd rather not chance it. And he'll kind of, like, very quickly uh, run up to, uh, like, Angelina. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, and, you good? And, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to die. Uh, but very quickly, like, run up to them and then just, like, on, like, the back of their, like, uh, on the back of, like, their armor and just, like, give them, like, a tug in my direction. Like, both of them just, like... And just, like, keep giving them a tug to, like, come this way. Uh, Aunt, Aunt Angelina just sort of sort of stops and looks at you, Vishana. Okay, we'll keep tugging. Like, getting, like, progressively, like, more like, move, quit, <laughs> quit dallying. Uh, I think I have to see you to be able to mind link with you. Uh, yeah, I have to see you. Hmm. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll allow you since, you know, he's tugging on you and you know where he is. Like, you could just, like, reach your hand to just, like, touch him and know where he is. And I'll let you mind link through that. Okay. Yeah, I'll mind link up with Dolkin and go, what? What is it? Come with me. There's a a house over here. It's empty. You promise? Oh, well, you think I'd lie to you? I need more out of that bag, like, now. And he looks at his... Look, you... Uh, you can't see, but he looks down at his uh, arm, which doesn't have any sort of way to tell time, and he's just like, "Oh no, oh we gotta get around now." <laughs> no, it's just yeah, it's yeah. purely for Tolkien. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Though I say five minutes, it took like maybe another like two or three, and it's like definitely like, no, we need to get her out of that bag. Yeah, <laughs> Dol- yeah. Tolkien, yeah. Tolkien is very like frantic. He's he's pulling harder. He's like, "Let's move." Vishana's going to uh, say, "Okay, one second. And then mind link with Hank and go, Hank, I need you to cause a ruckus. What? 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 All right. What? Just a small one, one that won't cause too much attention, but will be a good enough excuse for us to pull you off the side. He's drunk. I, I, I know. It was just, okay. Do this guy. Uh, I, I am, <laughs> it, like, I'm assuming that I have, like, my arm, like, reached around your neck or something. Yeah. Uh, I'm holding you up underneath your arm, so. Yeah, that's what both of them are doing. They're, they're hoisting yeah. you up. Okay, okay. And, uh, like, so my, my, my forearms are sort of, like, dangling, right? Yeah, kind of. Uh, and not, well, I don't have a lot of, you know, arm space for mm-hmm. you to dangle with, but, you know, you could say. Maybe, like, your hands are free. Dangling. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so my hands are free. So uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to have uh, uh, Hank force himself, like force his like upper half towards Vashana to like bring his face a little bit closer to his hands, and uh, he's going to activate his gag reflex and vomit on uh, on the ground, <laughs> very loudly, by the way. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, all right, you, you vomit, and with the. Uh, there's and not it's, a lot of people. Very like, like, loud. Yeah, there's not a lot of people in the road, but you just see like uh, like a man and a woman just walking by, just like walking by on the other side of the street, and just like look, just like look towards you, just like oh shit, oh jeez. So I'm just gonna go ah, oh, God's a butt, and using I'm that. Try, I'm gonna try to not get any on you guys. Of course, it's gonna get a mm-hmm. little bit, but I, yeah. I'm gonna try to mostly direct it towards the ground in front of me. Yeah, no, using that, Mashana's just going to be like, ah, put him against that house! And we'll motion to Angie and we'll go. Throw me down onto the, and, onto the Basically. <laughs> and she won't say anything, but uh, she'll just give like a, sol- like a very stern soldier nod. 
<laughs> and uh, just start getting him against the house. And once we get him against the house, uh, she's going to look and see if there's anyone, like, immediately looking or on the road or anywhere. Uh, roll perception check. Oh, boy, here I go. Perceiving oh, again. Here, here she goes, perceiving. 21! Oh, that's a good perception. Uh, besides, like, the odd people that are, that are walking by, uh, they... You say at least get the notice of maybe, like, people that are walking around that just, like, see two guards and a naked dwarf man just going down the road. And, uh, whatever guards are in guard, are in guard towers that are <coughs> admittedly pretty far from where you are, don't seem to notice you. You get the feeling that whatever you're doing, the people around you are seemingly trying to not interfere. I ignore care. it. Okay. Alright. With that, Vashana's just gonna go, ah, God's, ugh, Get that door open! And we'll motion to the the door of the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angelina will walk. Will uh, get off him and then walk up and uh, open and then go for the doorknob. And uh, to her surprise, it's open and not locked. And she she op she opens the door and uh, looks to you. And Vishana will go. Come on, you drunk bastard! And just give him a slap on the ass. Get in there! <laughs> oh my. Oh mm. my. I'll be like, oh, I'm getting drunk. I'm getting a free house at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you guys walk in. Uh, Dolkin, you walk in behind with the invisible potion still uh, off and uh, er, still on. Oh, okay. As soon as I. As soon as I feel Dolkin walk past me, I'm going to shut the door and go, All right, dwarf, you're going to get it. Oh, a whole house? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll wait to get it. Yeah. And then I'm and... just going to start beating against the wall, make, making it sound like I'm beating him. And then I'll, I'll be like... I'll be like... I'll be <laughs> Angela just kind of sh like shakes her and like takes whatever curtains uh, the curtains on the window and just like c and like closes them. Uh, Dolkin will go for uh, the bag yeah. of holding. As soon as the curtains are closed, Vashana with one hand is just using like a dagger and beating against the side of the wall as the other hand is opening up. All right, Ma, come on out. Be like, oh, I didn't even know I had bones there. <laughs> 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 Dude, there's dick in me bones. Oh, <laughs> there's a bone. There? Ah! Uh, yeah, yeah. The moment that bag opens and you call Ma's name, you just see two legs just frantically, just like coming out of the uh, coming out of the top, followed mm -hmm. by more, and she just jumps out. Dog, <laughs> dog, who's invisible, will, will uh, lean down and, and like pick her up and be like, and pet her, and be like, oh, I'm sorry, Ma. Are you okay? I'm, 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 I'm sorry to leave you in here for so long. But it was just really hard to find a place. Like that. Oh, oh. Anyway. Like, deep Dol breath. Dol deep breath. Dolkin, uh, with, with your ranger ability, you, can, you get the sense of like like Ma's like attitude, currently current at the moment. It's basically equivalent to a physical like, holy fuck, holy shit, what the fuck? Yeah. Does she? Does is it? Does she? Is she uh upset about this? You perturbed any, or is she just like she stunned? Upset, she doesn't even said more stunned and like, God, thank God I'm out of that bag. And uh, Dolkin, even though she can't see me, presumably, I mean, I don't know, maybe she has like cool magic eyes. Uh, uh she has blind sight, so yeah, she can't she see can feel you, but me. she knows you're there. Yeah, and he's he's like petting her. He's just he's just like, it's gonna be okay. We find a place. We, we you don't gotta go back in that bag for some time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, while hearing I'm the door, invisible. You know mm -hmm. what? I guess I'll bring this up at the party. Yeah, and hearing that the door closes, uh, Alois crawls out of your uh, your pant leg, uh, uh, Vashana, oh, and and uh, he wa and uh, he goes out of his wild shape and uh, back into himself. Oh, <sighs> I'll stick my head out of the titties. And not and there. not <laughs> yeah and, yeah and then Angelina just like like grab, grabs grabs you and pulls you out. Ah oh, shit! 
<laughs> and and sets you down on the ground. All right, oh, man. fine. I'll, I'll, I was titty vibing. I'll, I'll titty back. Yeah, I was. I was gonna sit there. It was fucking. Yeah, it was fucking comfortable in there, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Hold the applause. Hold the applause. It was a genius idea and a flawless performance. <laughs> and Vashon is just gonna go. Yes, yes. It's very good. But I, make sure that me. door is locked. And uh, Vashana will. Uh, I mean, ah! ah! <laughs> Vashana will walk over and see if there's a lock on the door. Uh, there is. It seems just be a. There seems just be a padlock and a um. Uh... My buds. <laughs> there seems to be a, a padlock and a ch- and a chain lock on the door that you can just slip on. Yeah, she's just gonna quick lock it and go. All right, we're in enemy territory, so let's try and keep it down. I don't think these houses are very populated, so let's not light a fire or anything that might give us away. Let's just keep quiet in here uh, in, while we figure out our next plan. Dolkin will, he'll, like, he'll, he'll, you guys can't see him, but he does walk over something like, uh, while you guys were, I think I did look around and I looked in a bunch of the other houses and most of these houses are all empty. I maybe seen like two or three people living in like the 10 or 15 that I searched. Most of these are all, all empty. This is just the most empty one that I saw. Look like anyone has been here in quite some time. What's your thing? It's very interesting. I, I, I couldn't. I, I'm very confused as to how, like, why you'd have a bunch of houses but nobody living in them. Uh, maybe uh, yeah. it's just a pairs. Maybe, uh, maybe if somebody ever tried to raid, uh, tried to raid the the castle, you know, or or uh, this town. Maybe the, the 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 soldiers could could hang out inside of these empty houses and ambush somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why you guys are why you guys are talking? Uh, sorry, you you turn to uh, see your brother, uh, chuck something at your face and hit you, and <laughs> you, and uh, you you oh, grab nice. it and uh, it's a pair it's a pair of clothes. They seem to be it seems to be like a a regular shirt and like a and a like a long like ankle length skirt. Well, he's well. He himself has like pants, and he he's got pants and a shirt in one hand that he's holding on to. What do you want me to do with these? Well, we're th- well, 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 we're here. They're close, and you know, you and me stick out like a sore fucking thumb. I think it'd be I think it'd be best if we somehow at least made ourselves look like normal people instead of you know, that. He makes a motion to all the wolf pelts that he's got on. Yeah, uh, real quickly, and then Dolkin's D- D- gonna try and pipe up. He'll like raise his hand. You guys can't see it. Uh, how, how much longer do I have left on this? Uh, you've got like, D, you've got like, uh, 50 like, minutes. 50, like 50 minutes on <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, D- Dolkin'd be like, I think I, saw, I, I, and he's like waving his hand like in front of them. He's like, I, it seems like I still have, life, have some time. Uh, I could go around and like, if, and just like look around, just make sure that nobody followed us. Uh, let's see if I can find any other sort of information where you guys had out here and we can you guys come up with a plan. Go for it, Tolkien. Uh, maybe you just... can listen in to some God's conversations or yeah. something. Yeah, I'm definitely just not let... gonna, you know. Just let me open the door. You know, because it'd be kind of weird to see a door open on its own. Oh, yeah, and close on its own, yeah. It'd be weird. Yeah. Ghost! Okay. Uh... Not... Then Vashana's while while uh, they're discussing, Vashana's just gonna unlock the door real quick and turn to where she thinks Dolkin is and right. go. All right, Dolkin, come back within thirty forty minutes. I don't want you out there and potentially losing your invisibility. Dolkin looks down at his arm. Still, there's nothing there to tell time. <laughs> Even if there was, he couldn't see it. Exactly. <laughs> uh and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be back soon." I'm just gonna go see. Just listen on people. Uh, roll stealth now, or yeah, go and roll stealth check with advantage. You still get a plus ten. My pass without trace is still out. Oh, pass without trace. Oh. Plus ten. Uh oh. Uh, hey, a twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine. Oh, twenty yeah, nine. That's yeah that's with yeah. yeah with advantage yeah. with the advantage. Uh, pass without trace. Yep. Yeah, you're welcome. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. And uh, with that, Vishana's just going to open up the door, walk out, and just kind of stand on the deck rim, like if there's a deck or steps or whatever. 
and she'll just kind of stand there and just kind of breathe heavily, like get some fresh air. <sighs> that fucking dwarf. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <sighs> some more. Beat the shit out of him. Some more. Some more. Some more. No, yeah. no, she's she's just saying I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <sighs> And Dolkin Dol- Dol- slips by without without much notice. No, no, we already did that act. <laughs> as soon as she right. as soon as she feels Dolkin go past her, she'll go. All right, cracks knuckles. And... Yeah, walks back inside. Crack, cracks knuckles walks back inside <laughs> the door. Probably should have come up with like a secret knock, but whatever. Yeah, sorry, give me one second. I'm just uh, cycling through the Roll20 music to see what they uh, got yeah, to, to change see what, up the atmosphere. see what jams they got. Time to make my way towards that fucking yeah. church. Uh, not that one, not that I don't one. Know if you'll be able to get there and back in 30 oh, minutes. Oh, no, I'm not going to. I'm just walking in like towards the general direction. I want to like be able to like map a route out for us. Ah, smart. Oh, wait. Uh, well, will this work? Sorry, I'm just. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get something that. No, yeah, yeah. Work. Take your time. This is this is important. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Probably should have. Probably should have done this beforehand, but. Uh. Yeah, just go. Whatever you guys want to talk about while I'm finding some new music, uh, go go ahead. Uh, he just, just asked me if I want to do gunfire tonight. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's what you... that's what I said too when I saw that. And then you were like, "Oh, um... Keith, and I already have plans to play with everyone else but you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that's what and happens it's, and it's when you kill a bunch of guards. <laughs> Look, I mean, we'd love to play with him, yeah. but he doesn't even want to play the new boy. I bet you he's just gonna play the tiger. And that's the okay. and that's the worst outcome. It's okay. I'll play the new boy. I was gonna play the new boy as well. Well, we can all play the new boy. It's a, it's it's actually dibs. So whoever dibs it first. Oh, chase. so uh, fucking maybe Keith should. Actually oh, Keith refund. probably already dibbed it. I was, I was gonna say maybe Keith should refund uh like this. Oh, wait, he bought <laughs> it as a gift. I got I, I got it for already, him. Maybe it's already like thirty five percent off. Ooh, ooh, this ooh, this might work. I can't refund it unless he goes to say he would like to refund it, and then it lets me refund it, so I can't even do that. Can that, that, do that? Let, me, for him. let me see what you guys, uh, let me see what you guys think about this, but uh, I think this, this is probably fit for what's going on right now. With the rain. Uh, no. Because, uh, Dolkin, as you're out, the rain slowly starts to let up and come to a stop as mm. the as the uh, clouds above, still dark, are uh, now that's getting to dusk and a darker point in night, mm-hmm. is uh, starting to uh, cities. Now are starting to uh, die down. And hey, but I could, buddy, where if I'm by myself, I can if I need to actively stealth places, I can stealth at a normal pace. Yes, so you don't need to worry about being slow. So, uh, Dolkin, uh, mm-hmm. as you start, as you start walking, um, where, so you said you're making your way towards the temple. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to, like, find, like, the best route that we can take, uh, like, and the, the one that would lead us closest to the temple without us being spotted before, like, me, and, uh, while I, I don't know if I'd be able to, I, I can't cast it, I'm even aware this, but I'll do it once I'm closer the church so uh well let's see from where you are the city itself is about uh, go from there to there uh the city itself is about six seven about six miles in diameter mm-hmm see so, that's why i'm gonna wait till i get closer to the church to to yeah, worry about, about doing that now yeah about about six seven miles and you're about you're about two three miles away from the temple right now okay okay just make it sure so I could use it, but I I, I want to make sure that I will get as close as I can. Uh, like basically about like twenty five minutes there, and then twenty five minutes back, so I don't run out of invitability. So you're just walking normally. Uh, I I am going, to, like being careful, 
uh, and finding like the fastest route that I can find as I'm like looking through like the the left alleys and the right alleys and just seeing which ones like quickly lead like towards the center that I know that our destination is. Uh, but I would also like to, uh, once I find like a pretty comfortable way there, uh, if there's any guards, uh, I would like to, if they if ever they mention anything about the. Draycar. Draycar. If anyone ever, if any of them like say something about Draycar or like, a, like a plan of attack that they have, uh, he'll stop and listen for a second. So you're, so you're going to be out for th you're, so because from what I remember, right, you're spending like, thirty forty minutes out here before your invisibility come goes up. So are you going to be doing like twenty minutes going forward and looking around and then go back, or are you just going to go forward? Uh, I will probably do. If I have exactly 50 minutes. But, well, you know, because I'd rather make sure that I can get back and not be caught with my pants down. So I would probably do 20 minutes out here. And the 20 minutes okay. I would specifically spend looking exactly far away, fastest route for us to get to the church. And that was what, that is what I'll be mapping out. And then uh, I'll give myself more time to come back for me to dally and make sure that nobody followed us. Make sure nobody's, you know, any of that stuff I can do on the way back. Uh all right. Well, unfortunately, with twenty minutes, you will not have that. Uh, oh. But because uh, you, you will only get about maybe in twenty minutes, about half a mile. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, half half a mile closer down and into more intersections. But uh, as you're walking out, go and give me a perception check. Sure. The fuck perceptions? There it is. A big old fourteen. All right. So as you're going down, and you see that's uh, getting darker, uh, you notice that uh, a lot of lamps seem to uh, be pre, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, preemptively uh, lit beforehand. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them with uh, sort of the uh, metal like uh, discs overhead to keep from the rain from getting into the inside of the uh, glass that's inside of them, and you know, uh, extinguishing the flame. Uh, you see. You see guards uh, sort of going around uh, and uh, and lighting new uh, new uh, lamp posts that have been uh, fizzled out. Mm -hmm. And uh, as it as it gets dark, and assuming you're sticking you're sticking close to like still invisible like alleyways and looking around, mm -hmm. uh, you notice really not a lot of activity in many alleyways. It may again see the odd person like moving around, but um, as you're going around. Um, and just for this, uh, I want you to roll me an insight check as sure. well. Sure. My big old plus two. <gasps> oh! oh! Natural Dolkin. twenty. Uh, you rolled twenties in the Uh, Dolkin, uh, as you're going, as you're walking, and mm -hmm. you see guards starting to uh, put start uh, lighting up uh, more lights around the uh, area, uh, you see people who are very, very quickly going into their homes. Uh, you see several people who are out, uh, even like buying in that you passed uh, beforehand. Uh, the people either, oh, who's that? That was hmm? Chase's Chase. power. Chase said his power went out, yeah. Mm. Oh shit. Yeah. Just continue, okay, he'll be well, back. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, ju I'll just recap what, yeah, we, what I said before. He can be well, you uh, see... it, it's okay, he won't know. Don't you, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, know. yeah, for our pay. That, that's, you know, that's also fair. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you, yeah, people are going in, like, uh, especially that uh, tavern. Uh, people are either going very quickly inside of that tavern or leaving and going as quickly as they can down the roads and into homes nearby. Is it, and turn the music down just a, just a, just a, just a smidge. Oh yeah, it's a I little loud. Just, just, a, just, yeah. a, just a tad. Okay, there you go. That's really good. Yeah, and seeming to just quickly, wordlessly, uh, as if it's routine, going to their homes and locking doors. Mm. So that's what I see with that 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 twenty. With, with that, it, with that insight, yeah, with that insight, you see people could, seem to be very concerned about it getting dark outside. Could I? I I, I guess I could just uh, to myself. I'll just say I would assume that is has something to do with maybe the blue people, the blue demon. What I'm assuming. That's the only. That's the only guess I would have to go off of that they would be scared of. Um. Hmm. 
Uh, as you are also as you're also uh, moving about, uh, you do also see. Uh, you do also see uh, some other guards that are... It seems to be now that uh, night has come down, there seem to be patrols now at night. And, oh, uh, while so you the don't guards see any... stay out. I thought everyone was going inside. Oh, okay. Nope. Mainly the, just the civilians. Well, it looks to be civilians, but the guards seem to be staying out. Um, uh... But when you come to like a smaller inter like a smaller intersection, it seems to lead off into uh, different parts of this one... Of this one quadrant you guys seem to be, or uh, in between these two quadrants that you guys seem to be um, on the main road of. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't see any of the you don't see any of the uh, blue creatures, but uh, kind of further down the road uh, from where you can't see, uh, you do see uh, as you get to where you think about maybe twenty minutes have passed by before you start thinking about heading back. Uh, you do see about. Uh, four figures uh, in uh, groups of two, and what looks to be a really bright source of light between the two of them. Oh. Uh. Bet between uh, two bright sources of light between uh, each group, or both groups. It, do, can I see what this bright light is, or is it just like a lantern? Ooh. Roll me a perception check. Sure. Perception. Yeah. Uh, 20. We only roll 20s in this house. <laughs> you, as you're about to head back, you kind of look and stare for a little bit as it walks. And you see that the flame is at whatever this bright, f like, light is, seems to be moving. Mm. Uh, n kind of not with them. And you notice it looks like a dog. Ah. But as you, as you're looking, as you're looking, it seems that the dog has fire coming out of it. Out of its, like, face, mouth, like, fur? Everywhere. Ah, it's made of fire. Roll me a... R Arcana check. But don't can even know what the fuck this is, even if I pass this, Isaiah? <laughs> 17. That is why you're rolling the Arcana check. Uh, from stories you've heard about your dad through the different experiences he's had, you know, he spends a lot of time in the Underdark, but he's also dealt with cult activities through uh, Underdark uh, Drow Covens, mm -hmm. and he's mentioned something that you've heard referred to as Hellhounds. Mm. And these seem to fit that description very, yeah. very well. Yeah, the, these these seem like they would be pretty hellish. Yeah, and... Are they walking and with you guards, know you said? Mm-hmm. And uh. you know that these are infernal demonic creatures... Yet, uh, they seem to be walking with normal people. Ah. Yeah, D Dolkeen. Hmm. What? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, because it's night, I could easily snuff out some alliance, and I have passed without a trace, and he's got dark, got dark fur. I push it. What if I try and get, like, as much information as I possibly can? Uh, that is up for you to decide. I think Pass Without Trace would be gone now, right? Because it only lasts like 10 minutes? No, it lasts an hour. Uh, it's an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pass, uh, pass Without yeah. run out when your invisibility uh, runs out. Uh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, like, I'm not going to stop concentrating on it until you get back, so... And and even if an hour did come up, again, like, I have it so I could cast it. Hmm. Yeah, but then you'd be not invisible anymore, is I the would, thing. I would be not invisible. Because I, I cast it at the same time that, like, we all, like, you know, started sneaking away, so... That is... Around the time you drink the potion. I'm trying to guess to like what else I could gleam from. I imagine I could get a lot of very juicy information, uh, like patrol routes and things like that that I could easily learn and we could, we could manipulate. Um, you know what? Hmm. I think what Dolkin would do in this situation because. He values the safety of his friends, uh, more than, uh, more than, like, learning, even though that could help. I prefer to make sure that Maul and all of them are safe above risking, like, their lives for, uh, a few scraps of information. Alrighty. That he would start. Sadly, even though I really want to, I think Dolkin would start making his way back. All right, and as well, you know, you know start I will take a minute to uh, to uh, primeval awareness. 
Uh, or, or abominate. Monstrosity. You mean sorry. Monstrosities? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Monstrosities. Um, let me see if it's been a bit, but I don't think there are monsters in here. Okay. Let me check real quick to see something to see if it would count as a monster. Uh... You good? Oh, God. I'm gonna die. We're good. Are, you are, sound are like you're you gonna uh, throw up? Oh, well, maybe, but I'll, I'll go to the restroom if I... It's worse. We'll be fine. Um... Yeah, you... Uh, you you take you take the moment uh, to uh, uh, to cast primal awareness and you don't sense you don't sense monstrosities anywhere. Okay, and and after and, that he will start making. What yeah. what I will do is uh, I will I will be like blowing out the lights, <laughs> the little lanterns that they have, that they like set up. I'll, I'll I'll purposely go out of my way like making my or just as many as I can just going. <laughs> Uh, roll me sleight of hand if you're sure. going to do that. I really never roll this fucking stuff. Sleight of hand, baby. A big old 13. Not bad. Alrighty. Alright. Uh, the moment you go up, the moment you go up to, the moment you go up to one and, uh, you you blow out one uh, a guard that seems to be uh, over on the other side uh, who seems to be putting up a new light uh, kind of kind of looks over towards the uh, light being snuffed out and kind of like raises an eyebrow and then you kind of you go over and you you also have to like physically like adjust them because uh, they're not out in the open there's like oh. also just, like there's also glass like holding them. Holding, holding like the light inside a, as long as a little saucer on top to make sure rain doesn't get in. Oh, I thought it was like just an open. Okay, well that's fine. No, it, they 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 are they are closed. They're they're like street lamps, but with just mm -hmm. flames inside flames rather than light bulbs. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. I yeah. will. Okay, and, never mind. Yeah, and then you go you go up to the you go up to another one and adjust it and blow out the and blow out the flame again, and then the scarred immediately just starts like looking over there and just like walks up. Uh, between the two of them, kind of looks very confused. Then you blow out a third one, <laughs> and then this guard goes. It's really fucking with this guy. Yeah, and then the guard goes, "Hey, patrol!" As he starts, as he calls down the road, something's going on over here. Oh well, that's uh, that would be uh, Dolphin's cue, probably. But messing with leave. Must have been leave. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Just mel, just mel your saw. Nothing to report. <laughs> Man, if only, only I was hanged. He could attack this guy. If what only. was that noise? If I. And then, and then I just run up to him with my with my crowbar and I walk <laughs> on right and go. No, if you're back and holding. <laughs> must have, must have been the wind. Yeah, I if. Oh, 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 oh. If I could take this guy out stealthily, I don't know how much HP they have, but if I could, I I would try. But I don't think there's a chance in fucking the hell. The second, dude. the second you make the attack, your invisibility goes. Oh, do I not get advantage? No, you would well, have advantage for the you attack, also, but you would lose you, invisibility. You also lose invisibility. Oh well, yeah. yeah. But so so what I was thinking is is like I could draw a guard over, and once I blow the light out, obviously it'll be dark, and he's a human. He well, if this is on the this is on the main road, Brandon. Oh, and I don't think I don't think you want to do. You're you're not you didn't well you didn't say you were going through alleyways. That that is true. I I assumed you're going on the on the main road. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the just the path most easily accessible. Yeah. Well, the quickest one to the. The, what from what you can tell, the quickest one is through the main road. You and from what you can tell, even there's like a big like circular open space like around the church itself too, mm. with like a with like a little forested like greenery area. But okay. that's about all you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I also you know DM wouldn't recommend you know killing this guy after he just called over you know a, a patrol. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but uh, cha shifting the. Uh, Focus over to uh, all you guys. Uh, I assume Hank gets all his gear back on. 
and it dresses no. itself back up. Nah, Hank just starts walking around with his cock. Just <laughs> like, you know, this is a pretty nice place. <laughs> he's dusted. Uh, he's dusted it. Uh, Al uh, Alo uh, Aloise uh, does, uh, like, uh, puts, like, a lot of his stuff, like, seeing that you guys have a bag of holding, does take a lot of, like, these, at least his, uh, his gear, uh, like, uh, all the uh, tribal, you know, druidic stuff that he has and putting it in there for the time being and mm -hmm. just putting on some normal clothes. <laughs> just like have just like having a pair of like regular tanned uh, tanned pants and uh, some boots that he found, as well as a you know like a like a white and blue shirt uh, and putting it on. So I will also begrudgingly do the same, like putting all of her like tribal looking yeah. clothes away and then like putting on these like disgusting like a shirt, putting on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, as you. Lushana has given uh, Angelina the bag of holding, and she's literally just like Avatar meditating in front of the door, just expanding her mind out, waiting until Dolkin gets back, and she can just yeah. like feel him. Yeah, and uh, as you guys are just uh, relatively just uh, hanging around, waiting for Dolkin to get back, uh, while you guys are uh, sitting around, uh, you hear uh, you hear uh, above all you what seems to be like on the roof, like. What seems to be a pair of a pair of hands, like just on top of the roof. I don't know if you guys can hear like the sound effects I'm trying. No, to no, make, no. Like, I, they, I can, yeah. they, we can hear it. Yeah, yeah we. Then, uh, the yeah. the shot is just. Yeah, but then just opens you, a single eye and just puts a finger up to her mouth. Yeah. Then you guys just hear. And then you hear a thud outside as whatever's on the roof seems to just jump off. Michelle just keeps her finger up to her mouth, just continuing to try and focus. And that's all you hear, for the time being at least. As you guys are waiting around, uh, Dolkin, uh, you don't notice anything uh, moving. You don't notice anything moving around as you're going back, and you eventually do get back to the door as the, your time starts to uh, uh, waver on your invisibility potion. Ah, uh, do more exploring, but for the good of the group, so they don't get ratted out. Uh, he'll walk back up to the door so he can see, like the, you can see. Like his hands start flickering back in the face around him, and he'll just go up to the door and he'll just give it like a few very, very uh, gentle but deliberate like. Before before Dolkin even knocks, Vishana's already unlocking the door. She felt him approach and just get in here. Yeah, he'll uh, very, very like dive inside. As soon as she feels him dive by, slam it, lock it. And the second, the second he touches the ground, his invisibility. You can see him like lying on the floor. It's oh my god! What did you see? Ah, uh, I saw quite a bit. Uh, so I, I think I found kind of the sadly the fastest way to get to a church is for the main road, which cause there was a bit of like a little like garden that they had, so maybe that might be something. That we... Uh, I, I saw some bad stuff, but I'll get to that. Ah, uh, they're setting up like street lamps right now. I did. I did distract them currently. I drew most of their attention towards, like, the main street uh, that they're on. I was blowing out a bunch of the candles, so I, I got a lot of the guards' attention, so if we could, like, maybe sneak around now, or, like, very soon, like, while they're still distracted, uh, that would be advisable. Um, bad news. Well, more bad news. Guys, you know, my, I don't know if you guys ever heard. Have you guys ever heard of, like, a hellhound? Arcana for everyone! Oh, boy! My best stat, Your best Isaiah. Stat. Oh, that's a 14. That's what I rolled. 14. I know the wolf wolves. Uh, Jace? He's muted, so he might not be back. He's, 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 probably... he's, he's getting his quarter pounder with cheese God right now. God damn it, Jace. You always do this shit. And I roll for him. 
But you know what I can. You know what I can and I will. Don't watch me. And, you know and I'm, the I'm I'm the DM. I'll roll a nat twenty for him. Yeah, there you go. Waste one of his nat twenties. Uh oh, oh, I thought it was a nat one. Oh, another 14. What Consistency. About I assume Angelina doesn't even have to roll. She invented. I know, mean, man. she's got a she's got a plus 10 to this shit. So, I mean, even with a bad. Yeah, she yeah. knows. Oh. She's so smart. She's she so created the hellhounds. Yeah, she created yeah. the hellhounds. Yeah, she she is a hellhound. <laughs> oh, but, fuck. And I, guess while, and I guess while we're here, I can roll for Aloise, too. Wow. 14. Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome uh, back. You rolled a 14. You rolled a, four, you rolled a 14. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I had you guys all roll to know what a hellhound is. And yeah, I, you guys really don't need an explanation. Like D, DC was DC was just 10 to for it. But yeah, you guys know what hellhounds are. Bog. They're like, well, uh, let's say I saw a few of those. They're, they're actually outside. They're walking around with the guards. Good. No, it's, it's okay. No, it's definitely All not. right. Yeah, no, it's definitely not okay. <laughs> okay, so they are also knowingly uh, going around with do with hellhounds. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're uh, killing their fucking Kazis demons. I mean, this I, is a city controlled by demons. You know, yes. there, is, there is good news though. Mm -hmm. No monstrosities. Not a single one. That's 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 a I good mean, sign. That's good. To I mean, that doesn't it, not necessarily a good hands. thing, but it's definitely not a bad thing. Look, I'm just trying to bring up the mood a little bit, okay? There's a lot of bad. No, I, There's a lot of I bad. Appreciate, I appreciate it, old king. It's just. <sighs> Did you guys come up with like a game plan? Like, how, are we gonna go now? What are we? I, no, I... we had a visitor on our roof, and we haven't moved since. It was. A little um shocking to the core that it was probably one of those demons that we saw at the blue ones that are patrolling around it seems that's that actually, my that was, that was uh, me actually oh shit you have <laughs> you have claws still king hold his holds his hands up you didn't know he pulls his fur back just claws under there <laughs> Yeah, the, the hooves come off, and there's just, like, claws. <laughs> it's, it, it's, like, it's like the deer from Adventure Time. He takes uh, off I take his, his hooves off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, did, you, did, you notice, did you notice anything else out there? Just Angelina, who's who's taken off the guard armor and kind of in her robes now. I was I was looking around. I was trying to find, like, uh, I was trying, I was looking around. I was paying attention for, like, blue things, but I didn't, I didn't see any of them. I was walking around, just guards going around. Uh, I did notice that nobody besides people in uniforms and someone that can hold their own is outside. Anybody not in the guard is ran into their home. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at fucking, Ch fucking Chase always get going in and going off. Double well, quarter pound of a cheese. Boy. What is this? fucking annoying. That's concerning. Hmm. That's got to come. Okay, to so either there, either. All right, so there's a curfew outside, I guess. It means we're going to have to move before curfew time. I either go, either go during curfew time when, if we can be sneaky enough, or I. I, probably, I think blend, that, probably blend, probably blend in with the people here. I think um, it would be better if we could go before curfew, just so we don't have to deal with the hellhounds. Ah, uh, uh, Tolkien will raise his hand. Yes, Tolkien. Gesture towards his body. I know, Tolkien. <laughs> We're going to have to take back roads and stay off the beaten path the entire way. But in the unfortunate event that someone does happen to see us, well, at least me, Angie, Estelar, and um, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. I remember Hank. Uh, no, I remember Hank. I just forgot oh. about him. Eloise. Eloise, thank you. Uh, I'm so used to calling you the Estelar's brother. I apologize. Mm. 
at the very least, we will look like we somewhat belong. Mm. Mm. Is it sure? I mean, you guys got the clothes on. As long as we are, you know, clothed up and not being too fishy. And, and you the very, at the very least, we won't get people's suspicion. We won't get people's suspicion. I, unless, I, we're, unless we're unlucky and guards start coming up <laughs> and searching and questioning us, which hopefully they shouldn't for no reason. Yeah, it's not either blending in. Like, this should be fine. Welcome back. Uh, I, I, I got... Did I get anywhere in, like near the church to see like the front of it or... No. Yeah. The, church is, the church is still like five yeah. miles away. No, well, well you were you guys are three miles. You you basically got like a half a mile closer to the church to the church by walking. Mm. Yeah. Vishana, Vishana, still kind of sitting in her meditation pose, is just gonna go. <sighs> I think our best bet is rest up here, try and make ourselves ready for anything. And we'll head out right away at dusk. We'll move as much as we can until you mean dawn. Few... Dusk. We're gonna stay all... here all night and all day tomorrow. That's an idea. And then we'll head out at first dusk, as soon as the sun sets, and we'll move until curfew. Once we see them come out with the hounds, and starts lighting up the road we'll do our best and get off of it and do it again yeah That's Aloise so just efficient. Aloise just looks at you like what's the point of going out before curfew why don't we just take the entire day we're going out anyways why not have less would, likelihood of us getting caught before after with, curfew with Dolkin I don't want us moving when it's light out well, uh, Dolkin doesn't have well, to move, yeah, but Stesbos can. I could stay here. Like I, I, me and Ma can stay here. You guys want to take Ma with you? Rubber, rubber back. Uh, you can very easily like move. Like again, I can find my way. With you guys, I can, I can get around this place a lot quicker without everyone else around. Well, me and Ma can, but. I don't want to leave you alone, Dolkin. I won't I'll be able to have Ma. I'll will stay with him. Oh, we see. I don't have every week. Alois Alois pipes up. <laughs> Besides, if uh, someone notices that a lot of people are coming out of here and they start knocking, well, he's not going to be answering the door. I could do it. I could do it and try to tell whoever's here to fuck off. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, cause I, I, getting, getting everyone, getting as much people as we can closer to where we gotta go. Uh, I I agree with Alois that you guys should take the whole day. Go around, get everything, and just get as close. Me and him can. We can find our way. Sorry, I don't mean. And he looks at you again. He's like, "Sorry, I don't mean to dissuade you from your plans, but we are also working on a time limit." Yes, we need so. to collect as much information as we can in as little time <laughs> as possible. Yes, I'm aware, but <sighs> I really don't want to move without Dolkin. I, uh, I don't no, want to Vashana, leave him behind. Vashana, again, it's not about look. It's not about leaving him behind. It's just I'm gonna be. I'm a. I'm a slow walker. Uh, look. I, it'll be me and Louise. And if you guys want Ma, you can take her. But I would prefer if we had her. But no. I'd understand if you wanted to. I understand no. if you wanted to spend time with her. No, Ma can stay with you, Dolkin. So yeah, fine. it'll be it'll be me, Louise, and, and me, Ma, and it'll be you, and Faye, and Angelina, and Hank, and it'll still be you four, and then us three. Hey. Bay. Sorry, fucking. Uh, SLR. Got him SLR. Oh, see, so it's like, so uh, about about as even spread as we can get. So I won't be left behind. I mean, look at Alice. You know, he'll he'll look at Alice and he'll just for him to like get, show where the guns. He just he just raises an eyebrows like just nods slowly. Yeah, they gave me that as a full nugget, by the way. They counted that as a full nugget, by the way. That looks like a nugget. Anyways. Good. Uh, right. And she'll she'll stand up and just kind of peek out the window and do a quick once-over getting everywhere. Yeah. 
Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. 18. Um, just out of curiosity, are you just taking a quick peek out, or are you also going to be using the spyglass, or are you just uh, taking I'm a not, peek out? I'm not using the spyglass, I'm just like pulling back the corner of the curtain and just looking and seeing what I can see out there. Okay. Um, just pulling back the curtain and looking out, you don't see anything around you, but uh, you do hear... Um, you do hear a loud sound, uh, which seems, from what you can maybe tell, was yelling, but seems to be pretty far away, and you can't be from, you can't tell from which direction. But okay. uh, you, you don't, it's not one. It seems to be like a lot of yelling, that seems to be coming and lasting quite a bit before it dies down. I'm gonna really focus. If it's a lot of yelling, I'm really gonna focus and see what direction it's coming from. If it's coming from the barracks or. The other direction. Okay. Uh, roll me another perception check uh, with disadvantage. Oh fuck. Twelve. Twelve. Um, it sounds like it's coming from. Uh, let's see. So you guys are on the east side. You're on that. Looking over there. Uh, it sounds like it's coming from the northwest. Sort of. Uh, on the other side of the road that you guys are looking on. And uh, coming from maybe. Uh, probably the other intersection. So um, from the from the way that we came. Uh, no. The opposite direction of where we came. Op opposite direction of where you came. Okay. Uh, down down the road, but uh, further to the north northern side of the city. Okay. Uh, Vishana, having figured that out, will turn back to their party and go. All right, then, if we're going to split up and move in separate groups, let's get as far as we can tonight, and then we'll do it tomorrow. We'll split up tomorrow. We've done a lot of, uh, we've done a lot of walking today. Ah, at the very least, Elby says. There are a lot of beds upstairs. They're dusty, though, but... Math, we got magic and shit, so... Probably not make that an issue, so... I'm gonna go lay down and get some sleep while we still can. I I second that. I I also believe. Yeah. That we should perhaps still we should maybe set up watch just to be safe. I'll take first watch. Go on ahead. Angeline take like, first watch like completely naked. <laughs> Angeline just like second. Like, um, I'll I'll watch with you. Uh, we've got we have enough people for. Uh, multiple people to be on watch anyways well, before you join me and I do appreciate it do go do your thing and make everything sparkle uh, yeah, I can I guess I could do a little bit of cleaning so we're not inhaling dust <laughs> and she'll walk upstairs and just um, upstairs these seem to be about uh, three bedrooms uh, two have uh, two bedrooms have two beds and one seems to have a um, maybe it looks like a master bedroom with a, with like a king size bed. And she just goes over and just gives a quick once over on everything, making it, you know, prestidigitizing nice it. Yeah, yeah, prestidigitating it, <laughs> making it look, making it look nice and uh, and clean. Before uh, going, before going back down, and Alois just goes upstairs and goes to uh, one of the uh, rooms with the two beds and just clonks out on on one of them. I assume none of the, are any of these beds like Tolkien size? Or are you just gonna sleep on the floor today? I mean, the king, the king bed, <gasps> the king bed probably would be. I just figured someone else would have taken it. Uh, unless anyone else wants to take it. Oh, I mean, I would like a big bed, but I, I will let Tolkien have it. I mean, the beds are the beds are pretty big. We talking full twin queen? Uh, about about twin, about uh, about twin sized. Tiny little beds. That big. Uh, at least, I mean, I mean, at least big enough to fit a person on it. Yeah. That's perfect for uh, for Hank. Hey, it's queen yeah. sized. Uh, it's queen sized <laughs> to Hank. He's like, what are you talking about? This is a this is a it's <laughs> massive. <laughs> it's a, oh I my god, that must be a tie ass on this. Oh thing. my god, that must be a god sized bed with him <laughs> and Kang. Yeah, but Alois just goes on to one of them, just like slumps his body on one, just like kind of clonks out. So there's five, there's five beds in total. 
Okay, yeah, and uh, Dolkin will Dolkin will happily him and Mal, like once they they will take second watch. They can have a break, and Angelina and Vashana can go get some rest. Yeah, you see Ma, you see Ma spin a quick little web up in the uh, corner of uh, uh, up in the corner of the uh, bedroom. Mm -hmm. There's no curtains yeah, just... up here, right? Like we close all the curtains up here. Uh, the curtains upstairs are closed. Okay, just make it sure. Uh, the one that Alois is in uh, does not have any windows, mm. uh, but the other two bedrooms do have windows. And there's also a uh, and there's also a window uh, in the uh, uh, on the back wall near the staircase of mm -hmm. the uh, second of the uh, second floor hallway. He, he that does that does that does look out to a uh, to a back alley that makes up that uh, looks and oversees a lot of other houses. Hmm. Okay but, then. But is it covered with a curtain? Yes, it is. Okay. Every every window does have a curtain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Delkin will he'll lay down, he'll get comfortable, and uh, he, he Delkin's definitely going off to bed. Goes back. My spells. I need my spells. I need, I need to make sure I can cast two fog clouds at level two. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> You know, I can also prepare fog cloud. <gasps> I just imagine if we, and, I, like, what is fog cloud level two? Like five thousand feet. Yeah, but but I have third level spells, so I can have third level. Oh, fog cloud. oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, uh, it, it increases by twenty feet the radius. So one forty foot fog cloud, one sixty foot fog cloud, all over where we need to go. They can't see, and we just fucking stealth right on it. My air. my god. We're gonna we're gonna destroy this campaign with fog cloud. <laughs> Look, and th and it is good that we broke it up like and this. And Louise can have fog cloud too. And he can have fog cloud too. And me and Ma can at least see someone in the fog cloud. Yeah, just we, we'll just have Dolkin lead us. Just imagine someone fucking casting a ninth level fog cloud. <laughs> how much di how much distance would that cover up? What's well, an additional twenty feet per level cast or? Yeah. 180 or something. 100. Oh, uh, it'd be an extra. Actually, it'd be 200 feet because it's 20 plus another 20. So it'd be 200 feet of fog cloud. So that's 20. Uh, so times that by eight. It'd be no, that'd be a that'd be a hundred. Uh, it, no, it's 200 feet because it starts off at base at 20 and then an additional 180 feet. Yeah. Oh. That's so it's a, a four. So it's a four hundred. So it's a four hundred foot radius <laughs> fog cloud. Yeah. That's so good. Oh my god. You can yeah, with with a fog cloud like that, you can actually make it seem like natural fog is coming <laughs> inside of an area. That's almost a quarter mile of fog. <laughs> See, I mean, fog cloud's a good spell. You guys, you just gotta, fog cloud's a pretty good spell. You, just, you have to, pretty poggers. You just have to use it creatively. Alright, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I imagine maybe SR would just go into the, uh, would go into the, uh, room, uh, her brother sleeping. Yeah. And... Yeah. What are you doing, Step Druid? She's <laughs> 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 always like, do you want to go and primeval savagery her at the same time? <laughs> no, that was Matt saying that. Not the time. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I guess, I guess Hank. I'm assuming Hank doesn't want to sleep with uh, Dolkin and Ma, and <gasps> takes the other room with the two yeah. with the two other beds. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hank so is you still go... naked. Uh huh. <laughs> Angelina would have insisted you put your clothes back on. No, okay. Very, very emphatically, even. I was gonna say, uh, if if nobody asked him to put his clothes back on, he wouldn't. He just wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> she the the moment uh, Angelina would have taken the armor, the guard armor off, she would have asked, and she would have asked you to please put your clothes back on. Oh. Yeah, everybody else is stripping. <laughs> but uh, right. yeah, you go you go and take that bed, and uh, Angelina comes down, and uh, just sits just sits on like uh, the couch. Uh, just, just looking at the fireplace, and uh, you see her very quickly close her eyes, and uh, put a finger to her temple, and then, uh, and then just relax. Seems like she just cast sending real quick. Shana's just got one eye open, just kind of meditating, relaxing a little bit, trying to calm herself down. Mm. 
Jeez. I did not think it would be this bad. But here we are. You updated the prince? Yeah, as best I could. I let him know we were in... Um, what Dolkin, what Dolkin saw, uh, what our plan is tomorrow, told him to hold off, maybe give us another day or two, but he's still advancing his, uh, his forces. He should be another day and a half, uh, before he gets here. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make it to the church in that time. I guess we'll very, well, at, well, at, well, at the very least, we may not be able to get inside of the church, but we can at least see what's around it. Yes. The attack will give us a little bit of an opportunity to slip in, hopefully. <sighs> well, I, yeah, Angelina just seems like, well, I mean, if uh, you want to... Uh, if I had to point a finger out where, you know, Mr. Mr. Evil would be, yeah, that would be it. Yeah, that was what my assumption was. No, I, you know, I definitely thought that the evil person was in the giant building in the center of town, full of other evil people. Definitely not hiding out in a tavern somewhere on the fringes. Giant evil spire in the middle of the city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing could be wrong with that. Although, you know, that would be a really, really fucking brilliant idea if I ever decide to, you know, be an evil wizard bitch person. You're not? I'd, rec <laughs> I'd, rec I'd recommend against it. I mean, I'm not going to, but, you know, the brilliant idea. Yes, giant step, giant building in the center of town. Everyone will assume I'm there, and then I just hide in a tavern somewhere. You know that, that is a that is a fair point. Make some make something look like it's been gr big and grand, and you're not there. But <sighs> oh, I just want to know. I just want to know what's going on. Why are why are normal people walking around with? with hellhounds and why are there so many of these damn creatures just going around from building to building why do I have a feeling that uh, when one way or another Tethanol is somehow involved I can't be certain of that but I wouldn't be surprised he did sound when we last saw him, he did sound like he was working to try and revive the king. I guess we'll just have to figure it out when we get there. Just so that I'm clear, because I'm still fucking confused. You, me, Hank, and Estela are heading out in the morning. Yes, it shouldn't be too bad. At the very least, we can cover a lot of ground with an entire day and find out what's where. And with a lot more people around here, it should keep us safe. I suppose. <laughs> she kind of perks up a little bit as she once again puts a finger to her forehead. Oh, um, Prince Conrad uh, met, uh, met up with um, uh, Hestar's father. Uh, they've already uh, started talking about uh, battle plans. Good. Glad they made it safely. That's good. And she looks to you, like, and here worry about Moonglad getting back to the prince has been, uh, has yes, been, uh... most certainly alleviated. Mm. <sighs> I'm still so apprehensive about moving during the day. I really don't want to, but... We do need, need to get as much information as we can. And unfortunately, I... I would also want to go out when it's at least busy in the light of, in the light of day. 
rather than getting jumped when there's no one around to help us. There's no one around to help us but us. At all. <laughs> We're in enemy territory, dear. We don't know that for certain. But you're not wrong. <sighs> it, I mean, from what Dolgan said, it sounded like people were quick to get into their homes, so maybe not everyone. Although that yes. makes it also sound like they know what's happening here. Yes. Oh, she's a mess. She just kind of like grabs her head. Uh, and the sound is just rubbing uh, the bridge of her nose, and she's just like, yep. Yes, it most certainly is. Well, let's at least try to enjoy the quiet while we can, and uh, go wake up whoever is next for a watch. Yes, yes. And if we hear knocking, the plan is you get naked, and we'll go from there. Go oh, from there. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks at you. <laughs> roll, per roll persuasion. Whoa. 18. <laughs> that pretty um, persuasive. Where, where were those rolls uh, last time? Uh, I mean, honestly. Uh, it, 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 only, it only works against other teammates. <laughs> uh, what would this be? Like, a, I guess I'll roll like a wisdom save hers. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, well, I guess one. you're right. Yeah, she's like, I guess I, I got naked. I, 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 guess that could be a, I guess that could be a good plan. Uh, maybe... Uh, she'll just like cover herself very preemptively. She's <laughs> like, I'll maybe throw a blanket on at the least. <laughs> and so I was just like, hey, I mean, I found a cute girl. I slipped away. I'm trying to have my way with her. Oh, uh, what the fuck are you doing? Leave us alone. You know. At least, at least we're a little bit more romantically than that. She kind of like mumbles to herself. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, just for the sake of it, uh, go ahead and roll uh, just a perception check. Yeah. Thirteen. And no. Well, hey, to be fair, that's the same th the same number you rolled for that persuasion check. Yeah. And I guess I'll roll one for. One that just had like a plus twenty though. So I mean. Oh. Hey, there you All go. Right, good, good shit. Good shit. Uh, during the course of your watch, uh. Considering you guys are still relatively, at least within a couple hundred feet of the uh, of the wall leading to the uh, militia outpost, uh, you do hear uh, some passing by voices going by, uh, probably guards that seem to be maybe... You take a peek outside and there are like, guards that are coming in and out, maybe switching shifts. And as uh, you, as you uh, kind of listen, you definitely... Uh, before they get too close, you definitely do see what looks like hellhounds coming this way before they dip off into an alleyway. Again, hit <laughs> Dolkin wasn't wrong. Those are those are pooches that are on fire and do not look very happy <clears throat> whatsoever. As well as that, uh, you also hear those uh, same scratching noises uh, uh, from time to time, just on the roof, just on the roofs of the buildings. But they never seem to last very long. Like a, like at least. Of a couple seconds of moving from one end to the other and then jumping off. It definitely seems very. It definitely seems to be quite active at night. So the the hellhounds are they just like hound and person, or is it two hounds and a person? Uh, it's t it seems to be two people and a hound. Two people and a hound. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you know, just 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 so you guys can have a fun little image. I mean, of course, I you, of course. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys you guys have probably seen the, you know, image for a hellhound. But you know, just uh, there, there you go. There's the there's the fun little image for them. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. They look delightful. Hey, they're, yep. They're just yeah. spicy do, wolves. Do they do they look like they want to be pet? No. No. Ah, oh, shit. Is, the, is that the face of an Could a, I... of a? Of a good boy that wants to be pet but could i but animals see me as uh friendly could well I... this is an animal these uh, are fiends the dang old dog it, it, it could be convinced it, that's a dang old demon it, dog. That, that's, that, that, brandon what have i said about demons they lie <laughs> god damn it <laughs> son of a bitch they're so oh they're so conniving 
Yeah. <laughs> Hawk, they're good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, your guy, you. Nothing seems to happen. Nothing seems to be bothering you. And yeah, uh, yeah. Angelina. Oh. Yeah, Vishana's just gonna like cuddle up with Angelina. She's just sitting there, just listening, and every so often we'll get up and peek out the curtain. Yeah, while you guys are sitting, and especially when you guys hear noises, you she kind of grabs your hand and squeezes it a little bit. It's been a little nervously, but once the once uh, she feels an apt amount of time is gone, she goes and uh, goes to Alois and uh, Esthar's room and just gives them both a quick nudge. Yeah, Vishana will stay down there until she's relieved. Yeah, no, yeah. Angelina just nudges you, uh, Eslar. Like, Eslar, I think it's, I think it's your turn. Uh, okay. What? I said I was taking second. Too oh, bad I'm you? not second now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 we're, oh, we're, yeah. Don't consider oh, we'll take second. Bad. I mean, you oh, can wake bad. them if you want. Oh, no, like, and, if she forgot, I don't care. And she forgot. She's waking up. Eslar. Yeah, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> and then, and then she realizes, oh wait, don't consider you take second. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> fine. He can take third instead. I can do it. It's fine. Okay. I've uh, already you... awake. Might as well. Do you want me? I mean, two people. We've got enough people for uh, several wake people. Wake Aloisa. Do wake... Do I'm gonna wake Aloisa. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> How do you wake him up? I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw a pillow at him. <laughs> yeah. He he's just sleeping on his back. A pillow lands on his face, and you know he he's just like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Oi, wake up. I got the bots to do. Uh, did noise suppression? I hope noise suppression didn't make. Didn't no, make no, we heard it. No, no, we heard it. We heard it. Ah, right, good. <laughs> you're, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> He's, he, he takes the pill off and sits up. It's like, uh, morning already? Nope. Didn't think so. Mm, all right. Bots. I got anyone got coffee? Nope. All right. He just kind of throws himself out of bed. He's like. Uh, you, you, you get some rests. We'll wake the, we'll wake the bull man up later. And yeah, Alois comes down with uh, Eslar and uh, just he, give, just gives you like a, like a thumb gesture to uh, go upstairs. Uh, he comes Vashana. down and Vishana's just making a single cup of coffee with a firebolt in their hand and just like, no, it's mine. <laughs> you well, that. fuck you. T well, fuck you too. I didn't know we had to sing for coffee out here. We don't. It's literally just black water. Oh, I'm just... Yeah, it's gross, but it wakes you up. Anyways, he just kind of he just kind of sits in in like an arm armchair, and just uh, kind of like that's closest to a window, and just like kind of sits there and just waits. And with that, Vishana will then. Begrudgingly stand up and just kind of scratch the back of her neck as she stretches. <clears throat> Good luck, you two. Good night. Yeah, go get some rest. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I will sit down in a chair nearby. Yeah. Go head on up. Yep. Uh, just go ahead and roll perception check. I know you're pretty good at that. I am. It is my best stat. Your brother is also pretty oh. good. Wow! Actually, the best stat. Uh, your, wow. your brother's pretty good at it, too. Oh, uh, well, I mean, well, okay, no. but. He's, he's not as good, good, but he's pretty good. Uh, yeah, while well, you guys. Well, the both of you are. Well, the both of you are sitting, uh, sitting there. Uh, uh, Aloise just, like, just has those preemptive moments where he just kind of, like, flinches as people as he hears people start walking by but then just kind of like sells back down as they move by considering you guys didn't set up a fire to not have any lights and uh yeah and sr uh, as you are sitting there you definitely uh through just opening up opening up your awareness and letting nature overtake you because you're so freaking poggers uh you you definitely hear uh, that sim uh, similar yelling to what uh, Vashana heard uh, earlier. What well, sounds like to be definitely very, very far, but s still close and loud enough where it's definitely uh, discernible to you that it seems to be like guards and maybe someone else. 
uh, making a ruckus. And from what you can hear, maybe an extra voice that comes in halfway uh, halfway over it. It's, it. You can't make out any words. It definitely sounds like a lot of uh, mumbling, uh, a lot of uh, indistinguishable chatter. But uh, the, it, it does die down, and you don't hear any signs of uh, conflict anywhere. Nope. Yes, that. Mm-hmm. Well, the guards just went by. No, 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 no. It sounded like in the distance there was a lot of yelling. Maybe someone, maybe someone was up breaking curfew. Perhaps. If, that, if that's the case, it's probably a good idea that we don't go out. I imagine, well, despite whatever these assholes think, I probably assume that they don't go around just killing their own people. Or, I'm pre- or at least maybe these demons don't. I don't know how much control they have over them. Eh. Now just see. Eh. Maybe they, maybe, maybe they just find the odd wanderer and feed them to whatever demons to keep them satiated, so they stay around. Did you think they have a need for these citizens at all? It seems strange to me. I thought the mayor was after power. The whole point of ruling is that you rule over people, but there are not many citizens around. It seems. Well, if he's trying, well, if he's trying to, over, well, if he's trying to overthrow, th- well, if he's trying to overthrow everything, and make a name for himself, I imagine he just want power. He just wants to fucking take over in place of your, place of these people's prince. Yeah. You just see the shrugs. Well, maybe well, if he's mayor, he you know, obviously has maybe, maybe he likes having subjects around. To boss around. Well, the houses. Dolkin said that he looked in at least 15, but only two or three of them had anyone living in them. Even this place looks like it had been abandoned for a long time before we got here. That is a fair point. He kind of like sits back in a chair and rubs his chin. That part I really don't get. I don't know if the maybe, yeah, maybe this part of the town is the only place that has like a lot of abandoned houses. But you know, I mean, if we keep walking around, we just see that. That's definitely concerning. Perhaps. Uh, I don't know how I feel about moving about in the open. I don't know. I didn't didn't they say something about landings of citizens that come in? Or people? So they have some sort of hands or something, right? Uh, you're right. Hmm. I don't know how well that would go for us. Even if we pretended to be citizens, it, they might see through us if we don't have... Did you guys get a, did, did you guys, did you guys get a look at those? Did you guys get a look at those uh, when you were walking? Like what they looked like? Not... I didn't. When I was looking around, when I was looking around this house. I didn't see any other than the clothes. We didn't, but, right? Well, Balois was the only one who like investigated the house because he was looking for clothes to put on. Ooh. If you'd like, if you'd like to make a check, you're you're free to. I would love to. It'd be an investigation girl. check. Oh no. Um, That's your best stat, right. Crystal. Come on. Yeah, my best stat. See, look Aww. at that. That's not bad. Uh, rolled basically the same as him, I think. Uh, no, he rolled a sixteen. Uh, yeah, never mind. He rolled a sixteen. Uh, yeah, you 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 look around the house and you don't really see any uh, any sign of the bands. You see again like clothes. You look into the kitchen. You see like you see like uh, like kitchenware, some uh, some food that's definitely probably gone bad, but isn't in like heavy states of like isn't like in heavy states of decay where it's just disgusting <laughs> but you don't really you don't you don't find any bands in the house and he just kind of he just kind of shrugs like eh, maybe we can at the very least maybe we can say we just don't have them on the time or if you guys gotta look at them maybe we can make our own i don't know or we can just or we can just snatch them off of someone your your dwarf buddy is 
pretty good at not being seen. Maybe he can do that. Yes, yes. I'm right. I'll, I'll bring it up with Tyke in the morning. That is something that we need to keep in mind if we're going to try to move without being noticed. Yeah, he kind of, he kind, he kind of like uh, taps for her head and's like, "Good mind on you." <laughs> you, you know, Dad says you weren't always the brightest one, but uh, you got your moments, I guess. I do try. I don't particularly care to sit down and listen to Papa's lectures for an hour, but you know, but it comes to things like this, and I, I try. Uh, to be f to be fair, I didn't think. To be fair, I didn't think about it. Well, then again, you guys. Well, then then again, you guys only mentioned it once, and I probably just threw it out of my mind. And it it was something that came up a while ago, and I haven't really heard anything about it since then. But it was something that I remembered, and it was nagging at me because it it could be quite crucial. At the very least, if we stay away. At the very least, maybe if we just stay away from guards or. You know, stay in public areas where we can just blend in. No one will notice. Yes, perhaps. Yeah, but uh, you guys, you just keep talking with him, and you're well. You guys watch eventually ends, and he well, gets up. Not and... yet, though. This is oh. a question I was gonna ask him. Okay, well then, ask well, he's the leaving. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to ask the question as your watch is ending. Out of this, that is a question. To that advice. Up. A little bit unrelated, but perhaps you have a thought about leaving the forest, perhaps to go travel. With you? No. He kind of, he kind, he, he, kind, he kind of stops and it's like. Can't say really. I mean, I guess curiosity more than anything, but. And he kind of just look. He kind of like looks around, like at all the at all the stone and you know, <laughs> and the and the woodwork and the and the uh, furniture. He's like, as eh, I mean, being being here, I'm already kind of missing home already. Yes, that's that's how I felt when I went to Nashville as well. It's a very different place, but I don't know. I was I was wondering if it was something that ever crossed your mind. Uh. Maybe to go out and see the other world trees around the world that uh, Dad's mentioned before, but other than that, going around and being a city folk, not really. I I haven't talked to Papa yet, but when this whole business with Bashan is over, I'm going to keep traveling as well. But not because I don't want to be home, I made a promise to the prince, and I'm, I have every intention of keeping it, but it's, I will be gone for a little bit longer after this. I don't know for how long, but... He kind of, he kind of smiles a little bit, and it's like, well, if there's one thing I know you for, it's not breaking promises. So that's, so that's always good to see. <laughs> And besides, he he kind of like uh, he kind of like adjusts like the uh, the belt around his pants. Like, God, how do people how do how do these outsiders fucking wear these things? Stands his shirt. And he kind of like he kind of like, eh, well, gives me more time to uh, usurp. Yeah, it gives me more time to uh, make myself look better with you gone. And next time, my place. And next, and uh, next time, yeah. next. Yeah, next time you're here, I'll probably be the I'll probably be the lead replacing Dad. We kind of. Oh, like, you think so? Shit, the shit. <laughs> well, why why would I why would I think something that I know? Maybe it's kind of like starts going upstairs. I'm twice the man that you are. <laughs> he kind of he kind of stops and opens his mouth. It's like, yeah, you are. <laughs> you know, he's like <laughs> he's like. Ah. You know, I thought I, you know, I thought I had something if I said I'm twice the woman you are, but that just sounds really fucking stupid. As he keeps walking upstairs. <laughs> now I'm done. I will go yeah. back to sleep. I will go wake up Belkin. Yeah. You know, no. Yeah. No. For a second, I was about to have him actually say, "Well, I'm twice the woman you are." And I was like, <laughs> "Wait, that sounds stupid." <laughs> wait a minute. I don't even, I don't even no, think Roshana and Angelina combined is twice the woman that Solar is. <laughs> 
There's like a lot of women. <laughs> Angelina is Angelina is like four times the woman out of all the girls here. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. She's got she's, she's got that much bigger. Yeah, she's, she's got the boob power. You can't Booba. argue. <laughs> Booba. Booba. She didn't roll Booba. that much higher than me. <laughs> no, but she but she still got higher. She did get higher. You're right. <laughs> but uh, Aloise uh, Aloise uh, comes over to. Uh, to your room, Dolkin opens the door, mm -hmm. sees Ma in the corner, and it's like, Ugh. it just kind of like shudders <laughs> a little bit as she's sleeping, <laughs> and then uh, kind of just like, just kind of like starts uh, smacking at your smacking at your thigh. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, bull man. Dolkin, his eyes will open, and it'll just be like, <coughs> Wait, Ma. Oh. No, I'm not your mom. Oh, but uh, here you go. Hey, what's it? Oh, it's my turn. Wait a second, yeah. what's Angelina? As he's rubbing his eyes, like, getting a bit like, oh. They woke, she woke us, she was, she woke us up first and we're waking you up now. Oh, you know, it does nice for her to let me sleep in. And he'll look up tomorrow and be like, it, 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 oh, my, my yeah. lips are so dry. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll like whistle them all. Yeah, you, you see like all eight of her eyes just, just open one at a time as she crawls down. And he, he, he has like his, he has like one arm extended so she can just like crawl along that one arm onto him. Be like, you uh, wake up, Hank. Well, I guess me and Mark could just do it if we wanted to let Hank sleep in. I mean, if you want to go, if you want to go wake him up, you're free to. The dawn should be dawn should be coming in in about maybe two or three hours. So. Oh yeah, he, well, he'd that... love to be woken up early. <laughs> well, eh, well, you can pull that trigger as he, <laughs> well, as he, as he walks by and just kind of like. Uh, as he kind of just like face plants onto the like the foot of the bed. Oh, the one that Dolkin was on. <laughs> yeah. Well, I okay. mean the two bed. I mean the two other beds that he was just sleeping in have been taken. That that is true. It is a, it is a big bed. Uh, Dol Dolkin will, will take the other end of the covers and he'll flop them over him. Yeah, he j just just face down, just like thank you. Are you welcome? Uh, and then he will he will uh quietly close the door and he'll walk over to the the room that Hank is in. He'll open it up and see a, a sleeping door. I walk up, like, to tiptoe over and, like, poke Hank. Poke Hank uh, again more aggressively this time. Okay, alright. I got it. Uh, <laughs> it starts cracking all, these, all his bones. All these words. Uh. Alright, yeah, Hank will, Hank will get up. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, and, uh, morning, Hank. How long have I been out? Is that... Is that about, dwarvish? About six, about six hours. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll ask how long have I been out in Dwarvish. <laughs> I'd be like, ah... <laughs> yeah. I don't... Could you... Uh, try again? Oh, daddy. Um, how, <laughs> how long have I been out? In Dwarvish again. It's <laughs> not <laughs> no, in English. In common. Oh, it'll be like, oh, uh, well, we're the last. Uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be daybreak in two hours, so most of the night. Oh shit! All right, all right. I guess I'll hold up, uh, hold up my uh, my dude. Well, it's both, I'll, uh... well, it's both of our turn, and he'll turn and he'll start walking towards it. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 did you, I assume you walked upstairs to also go to bed, SLR, with uh, Aloise, or are you waiting downstairs until these two come down? Do you not have to... Oh, she says she's got... Crystal? So you can, you can oh, make a okay. lore for her, so... But I'll, I'll say you, got, you guys just pass her up, and she goes into the uh, room that uh, uh, Tank was slipping in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you guys make your way downstairs, and sit down, just uh, keep an eye out on things. I'll have Ma kind of like walking around place, just like here. I don't know. I I imagine we we both have like a garbage. <laughs> we're both we're both no, mediocre. I... at... Who just... you and Ma? Yeah. Well, I I just want her to like. No, Ma's perception is actually really good. Oh well, I'll have her like. Uh, considering I'm not gonna, uh, Dolkin's not gonna be the one to peek out the wind like the curtain. I think it'd be a little strange if anybody like saw him, you know. Uh, so he'll just have Ma like. Walk around like the sides of the house and make sure that see if she can hear anything. 
Yeah, she'll she'll be like uh, she'll be like on the wall. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, go ahead and as you guys go and just just roll perception checks. Good. Okay. Perception. A big ol' five. It's early in the morning. Oh yeah, it's early in the morning for me and Molly. It's, it's you know. Yeah. Uh, you guys, t as it gets uh to the er early bits in the morning, Ma is just kind of like uh like playing like playing with some like uh mice that are in here, like catching them and quickly taking them around to just you know suck them dry. Oh, okay. And uh, y you're still getting up out of your uh, stupid Dolkin, but uh, Hank, uh, as as you guys are at sitting there you're listening and hearing things it just comes out to uh be from what you can see dawn uh, look at peek out the curtain every once in a while that seems like the clouds are sort of letting up seems like it's still gonna be like a cloudy day tomorrow but uh uh you start uh, you start hearing like uh oop, that was weird uh you start hearing uh uh you start hearing knocking but not on your door it seems to be uh from uh uh, from, uh, uh, pff, words. Seems to be coming from the, uh, next house over. Oh, boy. Yeah, you see, you you hear, you hear knocking on the door, and it's like, it's like, you, you hear, in here, uh, two voices, uh, it seems to be two men, it's like, oh, did you, you, you hear anything? He's like, nope, empty like, no, nah, empty like the other ones. All right, well, let's keep checking, as, uh, you hear them starting to get closer. Do we have any candles? Uh, I the house is so. the yeah. house is unlit. Yeah, oh, okay. you guys you guys said you didn't light anything, so uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, and then uh, you you hear you hear uh, the two armed guards that are closer that that are closer than any of the other guards that seem to be walking up to the front door. Uh, okay, and uh, and, and, do, they, and, and do they open and, up the door? By the way, well, it's locked, so no. Well, I... No, but, but open uh, up their door, the door, the door on the other, on the second house. Uh, you didn't hear you didn't hear any door opening. It seems that someone just it seems that they just knocked. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, but uh, you hear them starting to walk. You hear them starting to walk up to the door, and uh, you and then you hear it much louder. Uh, Hello. Uh, I assume. Uh. Hank is gonna put like a finger over his mouth, and like, and and just just you know wait it out. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and just go ahead and roll me stealth checks. I'm debating whether or not I want to use Pass the Trace for this. For me and Ma. Although, I mean, we both have high stealth. We have high stealth. We have high stealth. Oh. Oh. oh I mean, we have high stealth, high baby. High stealth, Dolky. Yeah. yeah. The moment you mo the moment you hear that knocking, all all of you, even Ma, even though she can't do it, uh, hold hold your breath and just don't and don't say anything. Uh, Dolkin, you're just on the couch, just just put your back into it. Hank, you just keep push your back up against the wall, uh, just underneath the window, and uh, Ma just stays where she is, staring at the door, and, and then you just hear <laughs> you just hear another. Hello? Anyone in there? This is the guard. For, uh, at a brief glance, if uh, Hank were to look over at Dolkin, uh, he looks like a uh, he looks like a like one of those like bear pelt rugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know that works much more perfectly. <laughs> yeah, our guard just peeks in, it's like, oh, what a nice rug. And then... <laughs> That's what they uh, see. But uh, they 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 don't they don't know they don't open the door. Yeah, you do see. Uh, oh, you do see. Uh, what looks to be the silhouette of a guard look, trying to look through the uh, window, but sees it's covered up. And it's mm -hmm. like, I don't hear anything. No one's coming. Looks good. And it's like, all right, let's go to the next one. And they seem to walk off, and this pattern seems to repeat as they uh, as they go down by each of the houses. So we we all then we all then exhale, and looking at Dolkin, he reinflates from his rug like. <laughs> <laughs> this like, like stupor. Yeah, from this rogue like stupor. He reinflates. <laughs> yeah, he 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 puts his he puts his thumb in his mouth and starts blowing <laughs> to reinflate himself. I've heard I've heard of rogue likes. I've never heard of rug likes. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, the joke's like, <sighs> what? What was that all about? Oh no, I, I didn't know they checked the houses. I mean. Uh, the figure they all know that they're all not 
occupied. I figured they'd have like a list of people that live in these places, or maybe, maybe they're doing. Maybe they like. Um, I mean, you'd figure, right? When what would be the point of waking everyone up this early? I didn't have like. Oh, you know what? You know, uh, how, mu how much would you say? Yeah, he'll look at he'll look at Mars like, yeah, I agree, Ma. How, how would you say that people that, like, pray, pray to their, like, it's like praying the first thing you do in the morning, or, like, he's asking you, Hank. Oh, um, I, I mean, you'd imagine they'd probably pray it, and, well, uh, I mean, isn't it supposed to be like a church of demons or whatever? Or is it like... I mean, we don't know if that's... Odd. Well, you uh, don't know. Well, I mean, uh, given all these Garrett people uh, are talking about demon lords and whatever, uh, it it might... It, it might do it at night. For all I know. I mean, yeah, but how are you going to get other... How are you going to get other, like, civilians and people to pray to this person that you're... There's a mandatory curfew. He used to say that there either are any civilians. I mean, all these houses are empty. Well, no, 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 there is. We, I, we seen them when we were walking around, and are like most of the civilians when we, when I was running, when I was coming back from the, uh, when I was being invivable. Oh yeah, I forgot. There was only like a couple that were actually occupied. Yeah, like there was a couple places that were occupied, and uh, when when Dolkin was coming back, uh, he did see like civilians like run scared back to their houses and like lock it up. Mm. There are non-guard people here, not people armed to the teeth. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe those are family members of the guards. Something. I, I mean, a lot of these houses, I would imagine they were facades, but. Uh, I don't, I don't know now. Hmm. I guess we'll have to, we'll, we'll ask someone who's a bit more, uh, I, what do you think that they were doing? That maybe they were like rounding people up to somewhere? Uh, I mean, like I said, I was imagining that, well, oh, well, what are you doing, where do you think they're doing with people who aren't supposed to be in the air? I, yeah, I mean, I imagine that they're probably checking well, I guess if they didn't check that hard, they didn't like come in and enter. They didn't. I guess it, it doesn't uh, matter that much. Yeah, they probably do this every night, and they they're probably bored, and they're all like, "Oh well, if they if nobody answers, then nobody needs to answer." Hmm. It just seems like a weird thing to do if you're bored. It seems like they're doing it with a purpose, though. I don't think this is like something they do for their bored Hank. This was done with a purpose. <clears throat> Do you even know when the curfew is? Uh, night. Yeah, but like, could it be like early in the morning? Maybe this was, maybe the, like, maybe this was the start of curfew. In the start of curfew, Jake. Curfew's at night. We're in, we're in like, still dark morning. Why would it be the start? Why would it be the, so how would it be the start? Curfew in morning. In the morning. That's what I'm wondering. I mean, like, I don't know these people's <laughs> traditions. They're, they're probably... Uh, who knows? Maybe they're trying to catch rambunctious teenagers or trying to... Sm trying to, uh... Trying to pipe up some smoke leaf in some abandoned house or something. <laughs> or, uh, wait, what was it? What, what was the stuff that... that... Vision what? Lily? Oh, Vision Lily. Vision Lily. I was piping up some vision, Lily, in the in the <laughs> in an abandoned house. Mm, I mean, maybe. We'll have to ask the others what they think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll ask them about it in a moment. There might be some sort of uh, maybe something that they they know that they that we don't know. Who knows? Speaking of morning, uh, as you guys are. Talking, conversing, uh, you do see some dim light start, uh, dim dark light start to uh, come through as you look out. It seems there's uh, light peeking up uh, from behind the clouds, but considering it's pretty cloudy out still, it's you know just gray outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and before perfect, perfect we... fog cloud weather. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I I'd like to ask like one more question. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and, um, well, I guess I might not be able to answer, ask it. Hold on. Give me just one second, guys. Oh, I think his mom came in the room. His quarter pounder with cheese. Quarter pounder with cheese. He already ate, though. That's it's another one. It's the, it's the it's third quarter pounder. You, can't, you can never have one quarter pounder with cheese. Uh, you're right. It's always a double quarter pounder with cheese. And now that he's getting a second, and obviously, like, his parents would have got the double the double quarter pounder with cheese. Makes his triple quarter pounder with cheese. Meal. You guys remember the quad stacker? The quad stacker. The quad stacker. I do not. I have. I don't think I've ever eaten enough McDonald's to know what the uh, fuck a quad Burger stacker King. is. This oh, is even that. worse. I King. eat so. Burger King is the worst. Well, one of the worst yes. fast food restaurants. Next to White All right, Castle. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm Excuse back. me. White Castle was awful, but for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> so. um... I'd like to ask one one last question. To Dolkin? And uh yeah, to Dolkin. Oh, of course, Dolkin is is looking uh mighty happy waiting for you to answer your question. Uh, waiting Dolkin, to answer your question. Yeah. Dolkin, I I know that uh you know, we've been traveling for a little while. Mm-hmm. You know, and and we've gotten to know each other a little bit better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah. uh I mean, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to find, uh, you know, a good contact. Uh, which I probably should use at some point. Oh, you mean that, uh, you mean that dwarf guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever talk to him after I left? I did. I did. I, I, I didn't know if he knew about it, but uh, I, I, did, I did talk to him, and he turned out to be Hunk's brother. And uh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but I, but I, wait, is, wait, is this the first time that wait is this the first time that Hank is so, indulging in his backstory to other it, people? Hank's told us and, about Hank and, before. I, I feel I, like I have. He has. For, yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I didn't joking. Know whether for, I'm, Hank, yeah, no, no, yeah, he, he's told, he's told, he's told the group about Hunk. Oh, so I was like, Don't, Duncan knows who Hunk is. So I was all like, ah, at, at the very, at the very least, at the very least, Bay, at the very least, I don't remember when, but I think it might have been when you guys were with Demeter. Mm. It was like that, right that, after we came yeah. out of like Demeter's. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you, you definitely, you definitely. Oh, okay, well then, never mind then, never mind then. Or at least, at least vague what uh, Hank has told you about him. Yeah. And uh, you know, obviously. Uh, no thanks to you. I, uh, I, I almost what? got, uh, got, what, what did he have? He had a knife, right? Oh, he, he, had, a, he had a dagger. He had a dagger. dagger. I almost got gutted, and, um, you know, that, that sort of, uh, stuck with me a little bit. But, uh, you know, I harbor no malice. Yeah. God oh, damn it. Give me one second. Back to White Castle, Isaiah. Look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. White Castle Look, might be the... all they're good for is getting a mass. No, wait. It's not. I don't think it's even them. Uh, I think it's a. Uh... All right. Sorry. God damn sorry, it! Guys. All right. Leave no, again. White Castle. Leave. <laughs> all right. Quickly, because I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to like leave. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, just we'll, a second. We'll, we'll take. We'll take a quick break. But what's your question? Um. Well, no. Um. You know, I feel like. You could help me out with a, a little bit of a me? little bit of an investigation one of these days. I don't know when it'll be, but it might be one of these days. Uh, well, what, and well, if I can't, uh, I know, I know, I'm just trying to find. I found out a couple things, and I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, well, he wouldn't know who Mahalia is. Uh, uh, but, no, he's no, he met Mahalia. I've never been inside, so. Yeah, well, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, you've I've, never yeah, been. I've you've never, never been in because you yeah. you had Ma and you weren't allowed I, in. I've All never right. met Mahalia. I have no idea who this is. And so, um, <laughs> I think you might be able to help me. Uh, uh-huh. I don't know when, I don't know why, but maybe one of these days, I might have to go and talk to a certain someone that we've all met. Uh, and might have to, a- you know, uh, close, 
might have to, uh, let's say, I'll put up like quotation mark fingers, gamble away my soul. And um, uh. I, I might need somebody to to be there, not just, not just, I mean, if you wanted to help save me soul, that'd be, that'd be mighty fat, and that'd be mighty, I'd be mighty gracious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, we might be able to help uh, figure out something. Uh, but what I really want you to do is that if I end up, you know, passing out or, uh, you know, uh, you know, quote unquote, passing out in the, in the, in the streets and the alleyway, I want you to, to tell everybody, uh, at least so that maybe one of them might come up with the goal to come and help me out. <laughs> mm. You don't, you don't trust me that I'll be able to help you? I mean, I do, I do, Tolkien, don't worry, I do. I'm just saying, you know, you know, I just, I, I mean, if you went to it, I'd be mighty <laughs> gracious. Well, but yeah. I feel like there are, uh, you know, uh, no, you're right, you're right. I, I guess I should, uh, I guess I should count you out. Look, you should trust me more. I think that's your problem, eh? I don't. You know, I just. I just think that you just don't let people in. You. You've. You've made like this wall around your heart, and you just don't want to let people in anymore, Hank. It's really. It's. It's like really hurtful to you as a. The more you, you start being, talking about this, uh, I'm going. I'm. I'm going <laughs> to go upstairs and wake everybody up. I can Hank like and walk with you. Just I like you've been acting like that for like so long, and I hey, understand I'll, it's hard I'll, to I'll like. Go like <laughs> All yeah, right, and with that, uh, morning comes, and I'll be right uh, back, guys. Because yeah, I, have to, I really yeah. Have to yeah. You guys all wake up, and we'll go ahead and take a quick break. I will go and use the restroom. I'm gonna go get As some candy. Will I. Okay, I'm back. Who's here? Never left. Oh, how are you doing today, Matthew? I am doing the okay. It is good to that is good to hear. I'm glad that you're doing the okay. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having fun in Barshan so far. Do you like how everything is fucked and not poggers? I am doing the stress. Oh, what are you stressed about? Is it? Are you stressed about the fact that you are in town that could kill you in instant if like? Yes. Ah, uh, but how's your day been so far? Uh, I did a whole fuck ton of nothing. Oh, also, Matt, I fucking hate John. 
I'm going to kill him. I swear to God. <laughs> I, I, ju I just looked at the meme channel again. And just he's like, fuck, I think Zeph's right. And it's just a fucking guy covered in shit do doing a Joker impression about fucking gummy worms. <laughs> and I'm like, I will absolutely m murder this man. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm also I also hate myself because you know you know what I saw in the store and I bought what's that so I went to the store and you know because I was just I was just buying some I was just buying some shampoo and body I wash because I, I needed some more after <laughs> I got after I got a haircut but then I saw like this this thing for for Reese's and I, I saw this big thing uh, for for Reese's mm -hmm. uh, giant half pound cups Mm. And when I was in, when I was initially looking at it, I thought, "Oh man, this is just two pounds of really big Reese's cups." But then, but uh, then when I opened them, I thought, I realized, "Oh, oh no, these are actually just two half-pound Reese's cups that are as big as my hand." Mm. That's so you, so you had one They're... full pound of Reese's. I have a full pound of Reese's, and because I open them, I want to see how fucking big they are. Mm -hmm. And they they come in they come in their own specially made like plastic, like actual plastic, not like the paper holders that Reese's yeah. come in to hold them. And it actually it's actually bigger than my palm. <laughs> and I'm looking no. at it like, how do I eat this? Uh, aggressively. One bite at a time. Yeah, you just gotta start taking bites. Very slowly, because it's... I, I took a bite out of it, and I didn't even hit chocolate. No, um, I didn't even hit peanut... I didn't, didn't even hit peanut, peanut butter. You see... And it, and, it, and, it, and it was already like, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I... And I I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm about to take another bite. I'm about to take a... Ah... Uh, what? Holy fuck. Did you get peanut butter that time? Yeah, it was there. I did get peanut butter. Oh, well, there you go. There's a lot of chocolate. You're starting to make your way through it. Oh, God. Yeah, you get it's so much. Uh, mm, you see, but, it's so good. but it's so good. You see, I can't eat those anymore. Or anything. Like, that much of, like, Reese's or really any candy now. Because it just it makes me feel... Very ill. I can't eat much chocolate anymore because all, all I have seen you eat is candy. I but I use but I eat it in small quantities. But I just eat a lot of it over the course of a long period of time. But you can still have it, but you just can't have a lot of it. Have you ever had uh the Reese's Take Five? Take five. Uh maybe. What this does it shit look like? is so fucking gross. <laughs> oh. You know, I've seen those. Pretzels, caramel, and... peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. Yeah, I, I've I mean, seen it these. Looks, it looks good. I, I've seen these in the store, but I've I've never been adventurous enough to go out of my way to because, grab a Reese's Take Five. Because I, I, I like the Reese's that are like the uh, nut rageous, that are just like the really long Reese's that are just sticks. But they have, mm. but they have like a. Uh, they have like peanuts inside of them, I and also ones that also have. Never tried those. I've never tried them either. They're really good, in all honesty. Oh, th this it's actually just, does just, look kind of it, good. It just, it's just like an, it's just an added crunch. I with... mean, yeah, I could see that, but like uh, the the it's take also five got is like, like... Uh, caramel and a little bit of caramel inside of it too. And there's just something so wrong about the take five, and is it is it just what is it the pretzel? It's it's really just the pretzel. It just comes down to the. I just feel like the pretzel is like the wrong texture. Oh, did it like loot? Did it lose the crunch and now you got like a now you got like a now you got like cardboard texture? It's like cardboard. Because you get like squish and then you get because like pretzels got like a different snap to it. Yeah, and that's what I'm right. saying. Like, did it lose it and it turned into like cardboard? Now you're chewing on cardboard. Not necessarily. Like, I I feel like it did kind of maintain the pretzel crunch. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, I don't. I just feel like it doesn't go well with it. I just like I just, chew it. And I mean, like, Ugh. I mean, it's just it's just a pretzel inside of it. I don't see how it's necessarily bad. Is it? Is it? Is it just a texture bad or is it like a taste bad too? 
I, I would say it's more of a texture bad. Mm. Like, the taste, I think, was, like, okay. Probably still just Reese's. It was it's probably, probably like, still just Reese's. The pretzel just probably really didn't even have a flavor to it. Not really. Not that I remember. But, it's been a while since I've had one, but I, I, I mean, like, ate it. Try, try, no. The next time we go to, like, a gas station, just buy it and buy a Nutrageous, and maybe just don't, like, maybe just don't, like, chocolate with peanuts inside of it. I actually maybe, just maybe, went maybe to go to like peanut chocolate. shoes, so... Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe just don't like maybe just don't like uh, gooey gooey uh, maybe, Reese's with chocolate. Maybe you with, just with hate peanuts. Reese's. Yeah, I maybe. I was just <laughs> eating these things, and which are just like uh, they're kind of like rip off Snickers. I <laughs> they see taste that. Very much, they uh, taste like a Snickers, but I'm gonna say I think these things are a thousand times better than Snickers. Really? This is the mm -hmm. most like dark chocolate candy I've ever fucking seen. It, yeah, it is a dark chocolate one. I. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. I think it's dark chocolate is a superior it chocolate. It depends. It's too bitter. It depends. Like, I understand that like really good dark chocolates taste more bitter because it's that we get that more natural chocolate flavor. But but, I, but you I, know, natural chocolate flavor fucking sucks ass. I, I enjoy very yeah. bad dark chocolate because it doesn't taste as bitter. <laughs> but, yeah, I would say, this one's not bitter. Like this one, th this one they definitely like. They gotta don't put have much chocolate in it, or they put like a lot of sugar in it. Or something. I was gonna say they have to put sugar. Yeah, they have to put sugar yeah, in it. Chris, Chris, well, I like to enjoy myself when eating food. That's not true. <laughs> nah. Did you see those burgers we ate? I mean, well, 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 well one I had was was pretty good. Oh. I know. Nice. I know there were some of them that were undercooked. Yeah, I some of them that were those. just raw. <laughs> yeah, I didn't grab those ones. You can you can thank Will for that. He's a cooking expert. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I was just thinking reason, about and for some reason, And for some reason, decided to make really fat fucking burgers. Yeah, fat burgers. He, was like, they're oh, almost man. they're almost they're almost circles. <laughs> that last one that we made, especially. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Uh, I, I was just sitting there with my bun. It's like it's it's like uh, man, this the sandwich is barely the the bun almost cover almost covers it completely. <laughs> oh God! I mean, Isaiah, did, did you, you fix like... the thing in your car? What the punch? The thing that you keep punching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or are you still punching? Well, here's the thing. Are you gonna... No, 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 no. Cause, 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 cause. Let me, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. It's not broken. It's working as intended. It is the punchy thing. <laughs> it's... <laughs> so, the thing is, the light works. It just keeps falling out. <laughs> Crystal, I don't think you understand. It gives the car character. So you're, so you're gonna yeah. spend like eight hours just punching that thing tomorrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I absolutely love hearing you guys fucking die when just there's just the the the, the light just like pops out and then just me like flashes punches <laughs> it back into place. I, you I just get love... punched again. <laughs> well, yes. here's, here's the thing. I won't it's, stop punching it. It's it's also good for like let's say you're like getting bored on like the road. You're getting like you're getting like highway hypnosis. It'll snap yeah. you out of your stupor by punching the shit out of your lie. Yeah. I yeah, I just I just hit a slight bump, it goes down, bam! I just punch <laughs> it back up into the car, it's fixed. Yeah, see it's not broken. No it's here. working as uh, intended. In fact, yeah, it's working right. better. I mean, than if you want me to, I have glue I have No 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 glue. no. Here's the thing. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing you punch it again. <laughs> or are we gonna do something tomorrow? I, I know I know Chase asked, uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try coming. I'm gonna try leaving early so I can, you know, be there around, uh, maybe around uh, at least four or five. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try and leave at least around eight at latest nine, so mm -hmm. I can get there within a reasonable time. Oh, so maybe. So at the very least, so at the very least, I can be there and we can like do something. Well, I don't know if all of us can be able to do something because we gotta go eat Chick Fil A. We're not, we're not gonna take damn Isaiah. Oh yeah, you're right. So we might have moved things. Could. But what do we want to? This is this is a you and me thing. Oh, you're we, right. You're we've never sorry. taken anyone else sorry. to Chick Fil A. This is sorry. This is a no boys allowed Chick Fil A run. Yeah, exactly. You you uh, good, but, fam? You sound like uh, you're about to vomit. I'm not having a good day. Ah, <laughs> uh, one of those days. Are you, are you are you feeling sick? Yeah, but it's fine. <clears throat> also, my fucking nose is all stuffed. 
Oh. Sucks air. Are you, are you, Damn, keep, you good? Are you, you good, fam? You still finding ways to keep yourself hydrated? I am alive. <laughs> alive means <laughs> hydrated yeah. enough. I, we're enough to live. No, are I, you still doing are you still doing the IV fluids or have those have those been stopped? Well I haven't done them in a while, but you know, it's not like I I feel like I, IV would help a oh, little yeah, bit. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the last time I did it was like I think I did it at the start this year. Because I oh. believe I went to go... What doctor's appointment did I fucking have? So... I went to go see. Are you, are you just are you just keeping yourself hydrated from just the food you eat? Yeah. Well, I mean, I do drink water every day. A lot of it. Oh. And I just vomit a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh. So, I mean, I do try. I, I, th I think that counteracts the hydration. Well, uh, you don't know. It might... May, you know... I mean, you, when you, you drink are, it, do you, you chug are, it? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm out the fucking loop. This doesn't sound healthy. Oh, uh, oh, oh I'm not healthy. Brandon's <laughs> physically unable to drink uh, anything. I'm not healthy. You're back Damn. in the loop. You're back in the okay. loop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bra yeah. Brand Brandon's got Brandon's got an unknown, actual unknown sickness that no one can figure out what's going on. Whether it's a brain thing or a body thing, that he he is physically unable to drink anything. Yeah. It's ligma. Unironically, unironic, <laughs> unironically, what we have all labeled it, and, and I do want to, and I would like, I would love to write a book about it, and I'm definitely going to write a book about like uh, how I've been living with my it. life of Ligma. No, and it's, the book's just going to be called Ligma, and then most people are going to pick it up and be like, huh, Ligma, and then they'll read the bit and be like, this is just a sad book. <laughs> 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 this ain't funny at all, man. They don't even do the joke one time. This, is, this isn't funny. They don't even do the joke one time. Actually, at the end, it'll be like the epilogue. It'll be like, and that, and it's called Ligma. And then if ever it gets like, and then hopefully I'll, I'll publish it. And then that'll be like the name for what I have. They'll, they'll change it there. Yeah, it'll, fucking... it'll become the official name. Yeah, it'll they'll be name it like, They'll name it like Ligmatosis uh, Bronchiolitis or something. Exactly. Uh, so, Matt, in case you are, in case you're curious, uh, I got a lot of problems. Uh, being in the Story Navy of a streamer with Ligma. Yeah, I got a lot of problems. Uh, being in the Navy fucked me up real good. Uh, they gave me ah. a, a couple brain things. Uh, ah, I, I wow. Got, I got uh, I got something called the conversion disorder, and basically something bad happened, and my brain said, "No, no, 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 bud. Uh, I need to live in a way that make it so I don't want to kill myself. Uh, so I'm gonna rewrite a bunch of stuff to make me feel better." And so how my brain uh, decided... What, and, uh, what, and what his brain decided was, uh, you know, to cope with stress in the Navy, uh, he just don't drink yeah, don't, ever again. Don't drink. Uh, vomit a lot. Vomit often. Damn. And, and that's how my brain makes it feel better. And it makes me feel not good, but it's happy. Damn. Okay, that's fucked. Yeah. It could be worse. True. I mean... You there could was, be dead. There, there was one guy. There was one guy who had it happen, and he woke up and he started like he had a British accent for the rest of his life. Like that dude's fucked. Yeah, that guy. Oh. That guy <laughs> unironically had a fate worse than death. Unironically, Boy. he wound up absolutely quite fucked. I can't. I can't tell if this is. I can't tell if this is if this I'm is, being fucked with is, or not. This is not a joke. This is real. Wait, is it? It, are you just talking about like an example or someone you knew? No, 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 no. I didn't know. I mean, I know of what I know of one other person that had what I have. <laughs> uh, but this is this is true. It is, there is a guy who had this, uh, and it is documented where he woke up and he just started speaking with a completely fluent British accent, even though he was born in like Ohio. Oh, I've read, I've read about that myself. It's <laughs> it's like the dumbest fucking thing. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> You know, to, I mean, to cope, to cope, to cope with, to cope with stress. My brain is going to find the easiest I'm, way for me to uh, become, uh, become a British. Person. So it's going to change my voice so I can be a goblin. I can be British. Uh, like I, I don't know if I told you, I, cause I did find, and I do, and I have talked to him. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, there is one other person I've known that has this condition that is alive, and I could, I could let you talk to him if you want. He doesn't sound like me, and also he lives a much healthier life because he does, it doesn't bother him anymore uh he got into a forklift accident uh because he was he worked in a factory where he used forklifts uh and one day one of the people wasn't paying attention and the front end of the the skewer of the forklift uh jammed into his fucking skull jesus yeah so uh it, it basically like skewered into his skull and uh punched right into his brain and he went into a coma for i think it was like five years is what he said 
Jesus uh, Christ. And then uh, when when he woke up, uh, everything was fucked, and he had to uh, relearn how to walk. And he used to be a big bodybuilder, and he had no more muscles from like fucking muscu- like muscular dystrophy from like just atrophying as he's like in a coma. Uh, when he woke up, he had to like relearn how to talk, how to write, how to walk, just do a bunch of stuff. Well, he could still like remember words. He like, but when he would try and talk, he'd be like, <laughs> he just like uh, he just couldn't talk. Uh, and oh what God. what what happened or what what his condition was? Um, uh, any metal that would get near his face, uh, he would pass out instantly. Um, so one of the uh, like he went after like the many years of being in the hospital and going through like therapy to get better and like to a to a workable human. State. So so did all so did all food just have to be finger food for him? Well, he drank he drank out of straw for a long time. Plastic, oh, yeah. plastic. Yeah. Uh, but and so and but one day he like once he got like better enough that he could walk, talk, read, and he was like, "Hey, can I like hit the gym?" And they and the doctor's like, "Yeah, you just make sure you have a spotter. You know, do very light weights." And he was like, "Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna like push it." And then he he was like, and then I went to the gym and I was with my good buddy and I went to like the little push up bar and I put my hands on the bar and I pushed up and as I brought it like down i immediately passed out <laughs> and thank god i had a spotter because it would have crushed my windpipes and i would have died uh and then they, he, they he put the bar back up and then the guy was like 15 minutes later you woke up and i was like what happened and you were just like what happened and my friend was just like oh you passed out and he was like oh well maybe i just maybe i didn't eat enough maybe you know i didn't drink water today so he went hydrated ate food they came back like 20 minutes later and he was like and then i picked the bar up again I remember pulling it down, and then I immediately passed out again. <laughs> uh, wow. So he he went back to the doctor, and he was like, Hey, I can't lift weights, and anytime like metal gets near me, uh, my friend keeps telling me I black out, and then they did a bunch of tests, and they were like, Oh, it, it this is probably your brain coping with the stress of uh, being skewered by a forklift, and now when metal gets too close to your eyes or anywhere near your head, uh, your brain shuts off to not deal with it anymore and be like i might as well die than go through that again so that's what your brain's doing to you damn you'd rather you'd uh, rather die than have this happen to you again i mean it makes sense but jesus yeah so that that's what happened to him and he's he's a pretty cool i mean guy. it i mean yeah but you know what brandon it <laughs> and you know what? Think about it with you. It makes sense. It, it, I can kind of piece together why it makes sense. Your brain was like, "Oh, just d- don't no water." I mean, you're on a sh- you're on yeah. a ship. Yeah, no water, no more. No water. You're on a ship and in the name. <laughs> like, I don't want any more by, water. You were, you were surrounded by water. It's like you know what? Just no more water. No water, no more. No water, no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want water. Navy bad. No water. <laughs> I mean, maybe that could that could very much so be it. Like, so yeah, it's very different for different people. So, I mean, I mine's pretty bad. His was his was pr- more manageable. His was just like, don't let anything metal get near my face because I'll I'll absolutely fucking clock out right then and there. That uh, would suck for me because I have to wear glasses. Mm. I, I that that does sound like it'd be pretty bad. But I'm well, yeah. I do. You know what? Considering I don't wear glasses, and I don't think I've ever asked this or looked it up. Does your brain filter out the glasses? I need to know, Isaiah. Oh yeah, very much so. Oh okay. What do you, like, you'll, like, does like, your like sight the, like, you'll, the, like the edge of the you'll glasses? Still, yeah. You'll still see the edge of the glasses, but over time, it becomes just part of being able to see. I think you it, re- it really, it, it really just does become part of your vision. Mm. Like, yeah. I like, I notice it's there, but it's like I'm used to it. Yeah, yeah your brain you know ignores it's there, it. And, you know it's there, and the only reason you can see is because it's there. So you get accustomed to yeah. it. Mm. Yeah, like I don't like I, I don't pay attention to it. And then like when you when you're like when it's like that moment, of like oh I'm wearing glasses. I like look <laughs> up and see the I like look up and see see the edge. But like it's like like there like there's lots of like little things that like bother me, especially like sight. Like mm-hmm. especially like you know like if I like uh, I'm driving and like the like you know I. 
like I have like a queen, uh, a, a clean windshield, mm -hmm. and then like one bug like spiders against it. I, I would like hyper focus <laughs> on like that one spot. Like God fucking damn it, that fucking <laughs> bug! <laughs> no, it's there that spun my windshield. You, you know what? You know I had that oh. exact same thing, Isaiah. Yeah, oh, I but hate, I hate but, that but, but one thing my brain can't filter out is that every time my my, my fucking glasses just get fucking dust and shit. Oh. All over them. It, it, oh it, yeah. It pisses me the fuck off because. <laughs> I, I can I filter I I can filter out like the edge of my glasses, but every time I just see like little spots in my vision, I'm like, God damn it, my fucking glasses are all dusty. I gotta clean them. Yeah, oh, I gotta no, clean I, them again. I, I always my glasses always get fucking dirty, and it's rare that I clean them. So I I've just gotten used to seeing through the fucking what? spots on my glasses. What do you mean? I, I clean I, my glasses I, I like three not. times a day. I, I, I know. clean I, it like I, once a week. I at least clean my like ev like every day or every other day. Like no. cleaning my glasses because they'll just yeah. like get fucking dust and shit all over. Yeah, me. unless unless there's like a a fucking like layer of shit on my glasses. <laughs> no, I'll let them get spot. Like, uh, like I will even, let them get like, spot. Even if like even like there's like that accidental like like speak oh my god Brady you're you're fu talking to people <laughs> fucking wear glasses that have like a uh, like OCD with how they wear glasses like mm -hmm. like even like 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 um just like a little bit of dirt or whatever like dust that's on my glasses I'll be like, I'll be fine with because it's not that bad it's just when there's a lot of it but then there'll be like that moment when I like like. I know I'm like going to push and adjust my glasses and I'll accidentally touch the oh, lens. No. Like even 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 if it's even if it's a little and it's like at the top, I like where I'm never looking, I will uh. always look up <laughs> or like adjust my head and be like, is it there? Is it there? Is it there? <laughs> Shit, it's there. And like yeah. I gotta clean it, I gotta clean it, I gotta get it off. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, Brennan's asking this, like there's like he Why has a person so, with yeah. glasses. <laughs> Yeah, but there's like one person you know that doesn't wear glasses. And it's Will. And it's uh, I think Will Will wears glasses. Eh, not not all the time. When I when I see him, he's not wearing glasses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, usually I like there's only like one time I'm wearing glasses, and that's if I'm going out with like and going out and dressing up and all that. Yeah, that's the Brand, only time there, I actually wear glasses. There is a culture for this shit. Because I just think of like you. And I'm like, you wear glasses, and most other people don't wear glasses, and there's Jacob, and Jacob doesn't wear glasses. Yeah. I just yeah, don't wear my glasses yeah, all the time know. because my, like, the, my temples start to hurt after a while, and I don't like it. Mm. Glasses I mean, I've also, I, I've also got, I've also got contacts, but I don't really wear those all the time. Don't right, read, don't 13 wanna... minutes before Critical Roll. Yeah, so oh, I was, shit. Boys, I, I, Ooh, was yeah. Uh, I, I, I had to leave for a minute. Uh, Who the I, fuck I, just I... donated... Uh, who the fuck is PogChamp, and why did he give me five dollars? PogChamp, Wait, take your money back. Wait, what? Actually, PogChamp. Did, 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 did us talking? Is... Did us talking about glasses? That pissed off someone enough to be like, "Oh, they get it. Glasses culture. <laughs> glasses culture. The someone who gets it. My favorite streamer." <laughs> Are they even in chat anymore? Who the fuck is PogChamp? Wait, how do you get the? Wait, how do you get the name PogChamp? What the fuck? Wait a second. Wait, that is actually like. Hold up, I can I can check the fucking viewer list right. Put this man down. Who the fuck? Is... We're we're about to, we're about to, we're about to hum down. See what the fuck he just did. There's another viewer, Ebras, Taxes P S zero six six flags man magician mountain. Yeah. <laughs> right, no, sorry, six flags magic mountain. Okay, how the fuck did you get six flags magic mountain? I like that. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh. Oh. It's fucking uh, Matt. Uh, <laughs> Matt. All right. Matt. Refund it. Matt. Don't give me five dollars. No, refund no, it. No. I'm giving you. I'm right. giving you five bucks. All right. Now I gotta buy you some. No, you don't. All right. Well. I. I. am I'm, I'm guessing you wanna. You wanna watch a critical roll, so I won't uh, keep you here for too much. Too much longer. So we could make we make this a little bit of a short session, but. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll start at 8 o'clock, but, uh, just so we can get some stuff rolling, uh, we'll, we'll start again, uh, starting now. All right, so, uh, you guys all wake up, uh, it, it's morning, uh, uh, for the time being, just go ahead and write off a ration, everyone. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. You still need to eat. 
Food? Ugh, what is this food? <laughs> food you know in say, my D&D game? You know I say? I'm now remembering the one thing I remember to ask, because this was the thing I wanted to ask before we left for part. Rations? Yeah. You need rations? I've got some more <laughs> if you need them. No, I'm good. Uh, Al Alois also has, Alois and Angelina have plenty of rations on, on uh, hand, so. I, I am good for today, but I do not have another, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I so I this is what I was gonna ask, but I did, I I knew we were gonna like move and do this, so I was like, fuck, we gotta I can't go get food. So if everyone else is good, then I'll I'll Dolkin will repay them. But he he is looking he's looking a little light. You know, Ma did eat like three people yesterday. Ma so. doesn't need a ration. She's good. Yeah, that's the problem. Is that this is for me, and I forgot to give food. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't eat those people. She just dragged them and carried them into the woods. Ah, well, if that's the case, let me feed Mal right quick. Go down to his uh, clean you know, zero, zero rations. <laughs> zero rations. Uh, well, I, let me, I, did, I didn't say she was eating mice, so let's. I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll do. I'll do like. I'll do a survival check for her to see if she can like fucking uh, find some find some mice to to munch on. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you see, like, she spun, like, a uh, couple webs seems of uh, varying sizes. She, she, she seems fine for the time being. <laughs> so, so you're fine, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, you all, you all wake up. Uh, you've got, uh, uh, Alois is, uh, still dressed, uh, normally. Uh, he's got, uh, Basically, he just put away like his uh, travel gear. He he still has like his uh, his pack and like all his uh, other items that he has on him. Mm -hmm. He just put away uh, his clothing. Uh, yeah, and uh, Angelina is also in a yeah. She's she's in very you know indiscernible robes. So uh, she she for the at least seem thinks uh, she looks fine for the time being. Yeah, Eloise is like. All right. Well, looks like uh, we finally got done. Uh, maybe. We'll, yeah. All right. I'll stay with the. I'll stay with the big boy while you guys uh, go out and do your thing. Oh, uh, I we I meant we meant to I meant to mention this when you guys were waking up, but now you guys are all here. Uh, when me and Hank were on watch, uh, guards did come to the door. Oh. Thought they might. What did you do? Uh, I turned into a rug. What? what? Did they notice you? Nope. Um. What, did, what did they did, do? Did they? they, they just so they were just know? going. They were just going from house to house. They started at the neighbor's house on her left, and then knocked, waited for somebody. Nobody came, and then they came to our house. They knocked. They were asking if anybody was here, and then no, nobody, nobody answered. And then they left, and then they knocked in the other people's houses next and next to us, and they were just going from door to door, knocking and like waking people up and like seeing if there like were anybody in there. Why would they do that? Though? Well, I don't know. I I figured what what I was thinking is because you know I you can I imagine you can do prayer at any time, but like what if they have like morning sermons and they got like they go and wake all the civilians up and make them come down to the church and pray? Is what I was thinking. But they could just be doing it like Hank said, where they just going around and seeing if anybody's like hiding in these places. They're they're foolish enough to open the door when there somebody knocks. I don't know. I was gonna ask what you guys thought, like why they would be going from door to door and knocking. I I was fully expecting someone to come and knock on the door last night. They just didn't do it when I was on watch. So I think they're just doing rounds. But we we don't really have time to sit and discuss this. We should be moving oh. here while it's still relatively quiet out. Oh, oh Hank. Yeah. I, did, I needed to ask you something. Uh, do you guys remember when they were uh, mocking the people that would come into the city? They have the bands that they were wearing. I I never saw it, so I can't yeah. say. Angelina kind of like stops and was like, Right! It's, I can't believe I forgot about that. I, I also just remembered last night. The, I don't think that... We'll be able to move as easily as we thought, unless perhaps we had a bands like that. If they notice that we don't have anything like that, then they might get suspicious. They uh, will. They will check 
literally every rumor. I feel that, I'd that, say I believe they're paranoid enough to do that. That is what the god that I killed last night was going to do. Was the god wearing a band like that? Was he, Isaiah? We can check. I we can, still I have his body. We his body, yeah. <laughs> you, saw, you, saw his, you saw his body? It's yeah. in the bag. Yeah. It isn't, it's we in never took it out of the bag. It's, so. it's, it's, We're going to just leave it there on the side of the wall. <laughs> no. Oh, we have uh, the body. Well, actually, wait, wait. Hold on a second. They actually, wait. You took... It. Well, actually, wait. Hold on. You did You did take... Uh, you did we took take, his armor... Uh, we you took, took one, armor you took, out. You took we, one guy. You took one guy on the wall's armor. You took his armor. Uh, Actually, that's the one well, that I'm wearing. Are you still? You're still wearing it. Yes, I'm still wearing it. Uh, I mean, I, Angeline would advise of so just try to blend in as normal citizens, but. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, actually, yeah, uh, with those two, you actually would have two, uh, you actually would have two armbands. You... Nice. Is there anything, like, written on the armband, or, like, what's on it? Uh, it seems to be just a, it seems to be a, uh, a black armband, uh, with a, with a, uh, yellow sigil on it. It seems to be just be a circle about making up, uh, the entire width uh, of the surface of one side, about a good three, four inches in uh, diameter. Uh, it seems to be the, and it seems to be what looks like to be like the marking of like an indistinguishable claw, like so, uh, kind of, like, kind of like, kind of like a, kind of like Wolverine three slashes uh, from going really diagonally know. down. But basically, it's very generic, and it doesn't look like it's been specially tailored at all. Not really, no. Good, 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 good. Okay. Just imagine. It it does seem it. It, uh, it is cloth, but uh, it it uh, actually roll an investigation check uh, on it. Yeah. Oh. I'm just imagining that these are like the the uh, like things that they give you like when you go to like a water park or something. <laughs> Never. Yeah, like a Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's an uh, all you can play <laughs> bar <Yeah>. shot pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, can somebody else, uh, maybe Angelina or Halloween? Halloween. I, I rolled a fourteen. We're fine. Maybe. A lot of fourteens this session. The, four, yeah, the fourteen is the fourteen is good enough, but I mean, we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll roll to see. Roma. Isn't it, I don't. She's not oh. expecting our call. Oh, Alois. Oh, got got a, Alois got a nat twenty. He knows exactly what this is. This session is uh, fucked. There's been like seven Nat 20, like six of them from me. Uh, yeah, uh, Vashana, uh, Vashana, Angelina, especially Alois, uh, look at it. Um, the cloth is just normal, what looks to be normal black cloth. Uh, but, uh, the, uh, uh, but the, um, uh, actual, uh, yellow, uh, sigil is actually metal, and it looks like to be actually just like, uh, like thin, like, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like thin strings of gold that are making up the inlay. Like a gold leaf inlay. Yeah, basically. Okay. It's 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 not like a like an entire th it's not like an entire uh like make like the in Pfft, words I can speak them. It's you've got you've got the circle you've got the circle and then the three and then the three claw marks that go down but and then between all the spaces just. The, the cloth still. It, it is okay. inlaid into the black cloth. Okay. He's, well, he Lashana, looks... Lashana's gonna keep hers on and keep the guard armor on and just kind of be like, well, I mean, the rest of you can vanish pretty quickly. I really can't. Do, do you really want to be wearing that guard armor? I mean, it's the best With... outfit that we have. With all due respect, Ange uh, I'm Angelina. With all due respect, Vashana, it didn't seem to go well yesterday. We did have to and, kill a guy because you. It's and they're gonna army. be, they're gonna be looking for four gods. They could be suspicious of it. And yeah, so. they're gonna be looking for four gods as well. They'll be, and if you get, and if you get caught up in something, uh, well. Yeah. I hope we'll be able to play something off, but I, yeah. would, I think it'd be best if maybe we just go off as just citizens and just try to be as un... Uh, 
undiscernible uh, from anyone else? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, Eloise kind of lo- Eloise kind of looks at the uh, at the cloth that he has that you guys have and kind of looks at it a little bit. It's like, <sighs> oh, that is annoying, but it's go that is gold. But I did pick I did pick up some skills from I did pick up some skills from mom. <sighs> if you guys can if you guys can bring maybe some uh, some cloth or yarn, I could probably make you some more of this. Won't be gold, but uh, maybe from far away, and if no one's looking, I can make some for you. They won't be able to. They won't be able to tell the difference unless he went snooping at it. Well, I don't think we really have that much of an opportunity to do that today. I Perhaps think our best Punk can steal some for us. I think our best um... bet is going to be just go yeah. hug the alleys, stay out of sight as best we can. You drop a password, I'll press on me, and I'll be I'll be in and out of the city before. I mean, just just stealing everything. I'll steal everything if you don't stop me. <laughs> that's that's a good idea. At least that's a good idea. At least if all of you are in a group together, or maybe if at least you know, I don't know if you guys are splitting up, but if uh, at least one of you, if you're in groups, has uh, one of these, maybe they won't notice anything. Or at the very least, you can. Or at the very least, you can. Or at the very least, you can lie out your ass about it. Bonus is that they have two. So. Yeah. We're just gonna be the one that one, right? Uh, yeah. Alois isn't gonna take one, and you don't. The, the, the basic idea is just stay here, act like no one's home. Yeah. I can yeah. Do that. All right. So, uh, are you guys? Uh, walk, uh just, just a uh, preamble. Who's wearing the armbands? Who's gonna wear the two armbands? I'll wear one. Okay, you're gonna wear one. Uh, I. Could wear one. You Estelar want to doesn't go. want to wear it, so. I mean, okay. I, I, wait, what? He said Estelar doesn't want to wear it. Yeah, I'll I'll be okay to wear it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You. Yeah. You can wear that, and uh, and uh, Angelina will just like hug up next to Vashani and be like, "Well, maybe. Well, if people start asking questions, maybe we can say, you know, we're getting them washed or looked at or." Taylor, just make up something that seems believable. You can come up with a good enough lie. Oh, so, you know, uh, maybe maybe now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't be the one wearing the armband. Because they're, they're all like, you know, we did, they did probably see me being dragged off. Or, or you're, you're... I could just say that I was, uh, I was a guard that just got a little bit too drunk. I mean, do I need to be a guard? I guess. I, I guess you know. Since Everyone, I, all yeah. you all have like normal attires. Of the, the there was enough clothes. I thought Isaiah said that all of you are wearing basically like civilian clothes that they had around here. Okay, so I'll, I could just, I could just. Oh, all right. At the very least, at the very least, Alois and uh, Estar are wearing normal clothes. But you know, Hanky can take off like you know, take off, take off like his hood or you know, remove some clothing to make himself appear a little more normal than usual. It's not supposed to mean I look beautiful. Well, you know, not you know, not, you know, not not as not you know, not as roguish as you usually do. <laughs> oh, a little bit more like, like a civilian, more like a commoner, <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit less like a phantom rogue. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys going to be going out as a group together, or do you guys want to go into different areas to look around? You know what, Tolkien. Had an idea, but he, uh, uh, he, so because everyone has to wear those arm pants at least, you know, or at least like if they don't want to get searched, you know, what you could do, like two, like two of you go out, a dog could be like, why not? But, all right, see, let me let me see how this sounds for you. What if two of you go out wearing your arm pants, you find a nice place for the other people to move on to, right? And then once you find like a nice little place that they can that we can stake out again, you one of you comes back. With the two armbands, hands it to another person, then you all walk back and you do like a little switch. One person, so just like two people, the two people that have armbands are always out. So even if they get questions like, well, I have an armband, like I'm good. And when you find somewhere else, you, one person takes two, the two armbands, walks back, takes someone else with them, and you ferry the people across. Huh? You know what? I actually have a brilliant idea. I don't know how well it would work though. What's your idea? Wait, 
Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold I on. can. Oh, what's up, Isaiah? I just, I just, I just thought of something. Hold on. Oh, uh, no. Well, go, go ahead and say, go ahead and say oh. your idea. <laughs> okay. I can send my broom back and forth distances up to a mile. Uh huh. The only problem is, is people would be kind of like, yeah, "Whoa, what yeah. the fuck? Uh, a broom." The problem would be that there is a broom. Dying. About what you want to do with your broom? Mm -hmm. Not particularly. Wait, so yeah. <laughs> I always forget about Angelina's fucking spells. I just, I just realized, like, wait a second. I, wait a second. I can do this. As she, this will only last for an hour. But she uses prestidigitation and. Looking at the armbands makes two in her hand. Oh, oh. perfect, Angelina. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. This is why you take presentation. It's, it's such, such a, a good spell. It's such a good spell. You would have known to do something. This <laughs> genius. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so. I'm sorry. I forgot. I was talking and making good plans. I didn't want to interrupt. Angelina, she's non amazing. That's a non-magical trinket. No, yeah. I yeah, uh, and up, up to up to a cubic foot, which these but, things do not make Is it non-magical? I actually they, didn't they, mean they, to ask. They, they are non-magical. Oh, okay. Okay, Jim, but you, we were talking about good plans, but this is a better plan. Yeah. This is really good. If, good if that's a, but I, they'll only last for an hour. They, they'll only last for an hour, so maybe it'd be good if we actually do go as a group together. You so can, when, you can just keep making more, right? Oh, well, yes, but I can only... But they'll fade after an hour, so if you guys aren't around me when an hour is done, uh, well, then you'll be out without one. Well, what if, what if, uh, Hank and I took the armbands that we have, and then you and Vashana could go stick out another part of town, and then you could just keep making armbands for you she, and she, her. Yeah, she, she claps her hands like, that's, that's, that's better, yes. That, that can work. She looks to you, Vashana, like, that's... Yeah, that no, that works for me. And she slides it off and holds it out to whoever will take it. I guess I'll take it. Dolkin's actually ready. gonna take it. And Dolkin wants the armband. He wants to feel included. Yeah. And then, you know what? She's like, you know what? And just in, you know, and just in case, I can have... And then she makes... She can have three of these at once. So she makes one uh, for Alois... And he gives it to him. He's like, uh, he's like, just in case someone notices as we're leaving, and you know, within the hour that they come and ask you questions, you are also safe. He's like, ah, gotcha. Thanks. Good thinking. He's like, all right. Okay, I think we've got all our bases set. I think we're all good. Uh, so, uh, me and Vishana will go looking around, and uh, Hank and Nazar will go looking around. Is that, is that the idea? Seems to me. That's the best plan they have at right the moment. Fantastic idea. All right. Um, I think um maybe uh, looks to you, Hank. It's like maybe you two could make your way over to the temple, and maybe um ask around, look around there, see if you find anything, and maybe me and uh, me and Vashana can look around the city in general. There was a kind of foresty garden here. That I was told well, of, that's kind of that, that I saw that was kind of near it. So maybe, maybe you can look over there, Hank. Angie and I are going to look for a place where we can set up new camp. Yeah, that that'd be a good idea. And then Angie will let you guys know when we find something. Yes, I still yes I still have uh, I still have sending. So uh, I can let so I can let you know. Contact. I think sounds like a plan. All right. All right. And uh, with that, uh, all of you um, uh, crack open the door, and uh, you hear the bustling of the you hear the bustling of the uh, city. Now that it is morning, it is a very dim, uh, dark, cl uh, gray, cloudy day. Uh, you see the streets now. That's not raining and not at night. Are a little more bustling than it usually is. Not as much as uh, is in Nazril, but uh, still pretty good. You see vendors open back up. Uh, you see, uh, you see vendors open back up. You see shops open. You see people leaving their homes and turning on lights. And for 
lack of words, it seems at least to be a bustling atmosphere, uh, not whatever tenseness you felt last night, especially with what Dolkin said before. And you, as you guys start making your way, you also see a conglomerate of people making their way uh, over towards the temple. And with that, we can go ahead and continue this next week. Uh, right. The week after next? Is Thanksgiving, is Thanksgiving next Friday? It's next next Thursday, Friday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, yeah next Thursday. Fair. So, okay. okay, I think we can do it Friday, unless somebody's going to have Thanksgiving on the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving might, on Friday? Depends. I don't know. No, I have to I, work on Friday. I, I think Mom That's wants okay. me to. I remember Mom texting me about doing it either the day I, after. So I don't I'll know. do it I next week, Wednesday. Well, we'll play it by uh, ear for next week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I've got t I've got Tuesday and when I've got Tuesday and Wednesday off, so uh, well, for we'll play it for by game. ear for next week. Yeah, at, at the very least, maybe Wednesday. Uh, I don't know if you play any games on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, Matt. Nope. I just all have right. class. Mm. <laughs> all right, and all right. Well, then we will. Then uh, we'll do it uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So cool, cool. Yeah, bit of a, I'm bit gonna of a go sure watch the roll. You go watch Critical Role. Have a good night, y'all. You too. You too. Well. Good night, man. We finished uh, relatively earlier than we usually do. I was I was just now about that, to say that... I was like I really didn't stay here for all too long. What do you mean? Long. It's exactly three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Though I usually I, go I, for like I usually go for like three and a half to four because yeah. I'm fu a fucking talky yeah. bastard. Yeah, it's just yeah. you ended it right at the three hour mark. Yeah. Now <laughs> Wait, did Matt just the Matt just tipped another five bucks? No, 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 no. I wanted it to do the sound. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because it's a really good sound. Sometimes, sometimes whenever yeah, you follow, I'm fucking sick of that. I gotta, right, now, how I do gotta I... listen to that. Here, here, well, I'll just play it again for you. Oh wait, wait, hold, I, 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 I literally just walked out, got out of the stream. Hold on, let me, oh, let me, let me go now, back. Now, how do I refund somebody's fucking donation? <laughs> I don't think you can. You can't. They oh, have okay. to. Okay, have I, to. okay, I'm, list, I'm listening right, to right, it again. On. All right, quiet. <laughs> yeah, me and Ryan, me and Ryan found that guy whenever we were looking for voice acting jobs, and then there was there was a, a voice acting tournament where it was just I want you to scream into your mic as loud as you possibly can, and we were like listening through all the people's like submissions, and there was just one guy that had just amazing submissions where it was like that one and then there was oh god i'm turning into my final form holy shit wait i think <laughs> i think that's my follower in RSL <laughs> I, I think that might be my follower yeah. so let's see he just like screams so fucking loud into his oh, mic. i can oh, do it I, son I of want, a bitch I, I i want to be i want to be that man i mean i could but i i could do that but i'd probably make a lot of people unhappy around mm. me yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we're I mean, uh, we're all here. Uh, if you guys. Uh...